you doing? Welcome. Hello. Welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. How's everybody doing today? We're going to have a splendid time today here at the Young's house. Hello. Miss B, Christy Fowler, Mary Graham, hello, welcome to you all. Debbie Parker, hello. Maddie Watts, welcome. Yes, welcome. How you all doing? <clears throat> Ron Wilson, welcome. Carmela, welcome. How you doing, Glenda? Cheryl, hello. Cheryl Hinton. Sonia, happy birthday. Hey, everybody in the chat say happy birthday to Sonia. Happy, happy birthday. Hello, Kimya Bryant, Miss B, Rosalind, Terrell Unknown, welcome back. Oh, it is preseason for football, so that is exciting. Christy Fowler, hello, Laura W. Shay. Shay, how you doing? It's been a while since I've seen you. Great to see you in here. Penny Keller, hello. Laura, hello. Mary Graham, welcome. Thank you all for wishing Sonia a splendid birthday today. Oh, you're so welcome. Pamela Jackson, hello. Edwana, hello, how are you? Thomas Smith, welcome back in. Kay Coffee, welcome. Ethel Bailey, hello. Thumbs up the live as you come in. If you look up and you realize you didn't give a thumbs up to the live, make sure you give a thumbs up. Let's make that the thumbs up is matching uh, with the people that's in here. I can see everybody that's in here. But only 19 people has given a thumbs up. Nurley, welcome. <clears throat> so happy, happy Saturday to everyone. We're making cake today and we're gonna have so much fun. Making this cake, I got a good recipe for you. I do, I got a good recipe for you. It's gonna taste good, it's gonna look good. You're gonna feel like you're gonna feel like you're eating this cake with me. That that's how that's how I want it to feel when I take that first bite. I want you all to taste it with me. Yes, okay, great. So how's everybody doing? Nicole Stucco, welcome in. Let me let me see. Let me see uh, the live chat and make sure that we have it available so everybody can get a notification. What's your name? Slash Slasher Gaming, welcome. Cindy, hi. It's Happy Saturday, Mimi, welcome back in. Tracy, hello, hello. So let me see, we got that on. Let's look at all of the details. Okay, not that. Go to the details, and I'd like to see how everything is set up. It says the live chat is available. Uh, anyone can view and anyone can speak to us. Live reactions, we don't want it on slow mode. See what's at the bottom real quick. Hold on guys, welcome in as you are coming in. Redirect in a trailer. Okay, keep going up. Okay, go up so I can look at the rest. Okay, so looks like we're good. Welcome in, welcome in. Monty C, hello. Tracy Wynn, hello. Welcome in, make sure to give a thumbs up to the live. We're getting ready to make cake here in a few minutes. Cat lover, welcome in. Frida, welcome. Happy Saturday to everyone. I hope you all are having a great day today. Is there anybody in the chat that's gonna be making 
at the cake with me today. Anybody in the chat, I'd love to know. If you're making cake with me, give me uh, like a red heart in the comment section so I can have an idea of who's going to be making cake with me. Just watching? Okay, that's fine. Frida says yes. Okay. Hi, Mary Addison. How are you? Laura, looks like you're cooking with me. Okay. Monty C, are you cooking with me? And Tracy's cooking. Ron Wilson is cooking. Sonia's cooking. Okay, this is great. This is going to be fun. And I'm going to take my time. I'm just using a regular mixing tool, you know, that, um, that has the two beaters to it in a bowl and we're gonna mix that cake mix up. Get that in the oven. This recipe is easy and it's delicious. You'll take notes. Okay, Raymond, welcome back in. Linda Crisp, hello. Oh, well I pray, Miss B, that you begin to feel better in Jesus Christ's name. Hopefully you can feel better. Sorry to hear that. Just watching, that's fine. Uh oh, uh, Terrell said, Ron, what's your favorite football team? Need 51 thumbs up. Thank you, Ron. Hello, Erica Parks. Hello, how are you? Oh, why? He said Washington. <laughs> Just watching today. We're currently driving, going to Halibut. Oh, fishing. Okay. All right. Well, I'm getting ready to get up. We'll give it like another five minutes, give some more people some time to come into the chat and bring the thumbs up up. And then I'll get my apron on, we'll get started. So if you are cooking with me, go ahead and get your oven preheated to 350 degrees. That's what we're gonna cook our cake on. And our cake should take about between 28 and 33 minutes. All right, but you can't say that no more. I know, I know. <laughs> Can you put in your order for the pork chops? Listen, those pork chops was absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. And we tried hard to save some so we can have some for this evening to go with spaghetti. I'm making spaghetti. Yes, 350 degrees, what we're gonna cook it on. Turn your music down. Oh, you just finished watching the pork chop. Okay, that's great. Oh my goodness, Christy. My holy king, yes, you are. You're in the place to be, Gina Youngs. Now, Christy says, Gina, I just watched the chicken with the peanut butter sauce. Somebody in this chat's been asking for the chicken with the peanut butter sauce. I made it. The recipe is so delicious and you're gonna love it as well. So if you haven't looked at that video, check it out you're gonna absolutely adore the recipe it's so tasty the sauce i mean the sauce you just want to just you know you want to do that with this the sauce that's how good it is and i know some people right now can't wrap your brain around the peanut butter sauce and then putting chicken with it but just like let your mind go and give it a try you'll love it Oh, you're gonna make it this week. Okay, okay, so that's great. That's great, I'd love to know. Right, it doesn't taste like he just said. It does not taste like you think. It, it, you do taste peanut butter. Yeah, you do taste peanut butter, I can assure you that. But it's more of like a savory sauce. This sauce will turn your, this sauce will turn you out. Oh, you're gonna try the, um, you're gonna try the potato stuffed meatballs. Okay, very interesting recipe. If you like potatoes and you like meatballs, you're gonna love that recipe. Yeah, you can, you can drink it, it tastes so good. <laughs> yeah, he's right. No, you didn't, Cindy. No, you didn't, ain't no way. I didn't open the email, Cindy. I did not open your email. <laughs> I ain't opening the email. <laughs> I emailed you a frog sandwich. <laughs> Welcome in if you're just now coming in. Welcome in to the new subscribers, the current subscribers. Happy birthday to Sonia. Let's get ready to rock and roll. We got about three minutes and I'm gonna jump up. Go ahead and get your ingredients out that the back of your cake mix calls for, which will probably be 
oil or butter, water and eggs. Go ahead and get it out, get your mixing bowl, or whatever you're gonna use to mix it. Okay, your cooking spray and your cake pan, all right? You can use um, your nine by 12 or nine by 13 baking dish or whatever baking dish you wanna use for your cake. You can even use the eight or nine inch round cooking, uh, baking pans if you wanted to. Okay, so you're gonna wipe this off and then I'm ready to get started. Okay, so put that over there plugged into the charger for me, okay? I need this wipe so I can get it on. Alyssa Wooten and Derek Eads, welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining today. Hey, listen, if there's anybody in the comment section that has a great topic, you know, we love a good conversation on here. Conversations that's gonna make everybody happy, make us laugh and think good thoughts and stuff. If you have a good conversation, write it down. And when it's time for us to talk, we can ha keep the conversation going, okay? When we keep the conversation going, I tend to stay on here much longer. All right, so the computer's getting plugged up, my apron is getting wiped off, and I am about a minute away from being ready. Sue, hello, welcome in. My Holy King, how you doing today? Marcia Saffer, welcome in. Hello, Mildred, how are you? Welcome back in. P Penny Keller, how you doing? Alyssa, how you doing today? Charlene Bell, I'm better than good, Gina. Okay, that's great. That is great to hear. My hair is wet, but during this live, it will dry. It will dry and I'll get a little bit more fluff before right, right now we're still in the drying process. <laughs> I didn't have time to dry my hair, y'all. I just didn't have time. M. Johnson, welcome in. Happy Saturday if you're just now coming in. Is that ready for me? It is cool. It is cool, right, Ryan? Nancy, welcome in. Raymond is taking naps as needed. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Did I get my ring fixed? Who's asking that? Let me see, Cindy. No, I didn't get my rings fixed, but I did talk to my husband about it. He says he'll take it back to the place and we can get it fixed. So that makes me happy. I'm still gonna wear it because I love this ring, y'all. This is a ring that I wanted forever. I wanted to be able to lift my hands up and it could, you know, you could see it all the way around 360. I love this ring. So I can't wait to get it fixed. All right, so let's get Z apron on. What side did you do this one? Okay. Welcome in if you're just now coming in. Debbie Parker, some didn't get notifications. Uh, maybe they maybe that maybe they didn't, but hopefully they'll get a notification and then they'll come in and join us. I just checked to see if it's on a setting where everybody will receive a notification and it tells me yes. So we'll just see, you know. All right, everybody, let's get started. I'm gonna flip this camera over right now. Gina, I didn't get your notification like usual. I had to find you on your page. Okay, okay. Bless for life, welcome in. Okay, so what we'll do, um, uh, once I sit down and I talk to you all, I'll turn around and I'll grab the computer and at that time I can message them while I'm live and we'll see what they say. Okay, they may ask me to take a couple screenshots of people saying they didn't get the notification, you know, and then I can send that screenshot to them, let, letting them know and we'll see what happens from there. Okay, so if y'all can remind me, because I know sometimes we can get pretty busy and I'll forget to do it, but if you can remind me, I'll do it while I'm live. It must be off, yeah. Okay, let's flip the camera around. <laughs> How much 
much do I owe you for the cake? Oh my goodness, Latika, hello. All right, that's messing the light up a little bit. Turn your music down, please. All right, let's go ahead and get um, the microphone, Z microphone. You have to turn that down. You have to turn it down. Turning it down don't mean not turning it down. I don't know how many times I got to tell you to turn the music down. Yo, I'm talking to Dakota. He ain't listening. He ain't listening. He got the music blasting 360. It is that bad. <laughs> Y'all get on him. Get on him. Okay, it's okay. I'll, 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 I'll let him know about the notifications, okay? Don't worry about it. We'll get it fixed. All right, there's the microphone. G. Hughes, welcome in. Uh-oh, they said behave, Dakota. Oh, uh, they did. <laughs> behave. <laughs> Sonia said on her birthday, Dakota. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, y'all. So one of the first things that I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands up real good. Okay. Um, I don't have my uh, whipped cream out right now because right now is not the time to have it out. We don't want it to deflate, right? So... Let's move some ingredients aside, and um, I'm going to get my hands nice and fully cleaned. We're going to get started. Got some beautiful strawberries. I know some people maybe had um, a question like, what is the strawberry glaze that Gina's talking about? This is the strawberry glaze. It comes in a container, um, but this is what it is. Let's just say you wasn't able to find it. If you wasn't able to find it, let me know if you're the one in the comment section that couldn't find this, no worries, because I'm gonna show you something special to do with the strawberries and you won't even have to worry about not having this, okay? So let's get our hands cleaned and we're gonna do our cake mix right now, okay? Got all my ingredients. I got um, instant pudding, cake mix, eggs, water, and oil. Let me wash my hands. Welcome in if you're just now coming in. Frida, hello. How's Frida doing today? Today is Saturday. What's the weather like where you all are at? Pudding in there. I mean, and when I tell you, 
The cake was so moist, it was delicious. So today, we're putting uh, vanilla pudding into our mix once again, okay? So now I'm gonna put my three eggs in. I'm gonna crack my eggs into a separate bowl just to make sure it's nice and fresh, make sure I ain't got no eggshells, you know. Welcome in if you're just now coming in. All right, beautiful. Three nice, gorgeous eggs going in. I only want one cup of water. So when you're looking at your measuring cup, looking at it from this way will always give you the wrong measurement. You need to kneel down like this and look at it, see if it's the right measurement. Let me, yep, and then put it in. Okay, so I need a half a cup of vegetable oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out. Just a half a cup. If, you, if you're ever making a cake and you don't wanna use the oil, you can always use a half a cup of um, apple, uh, what is it called, y'all? Uh, what is it called? My goodness, somebody out there knows applesauce. If you don't want to use oil, you can always use a half a cup of applesauce, and it makes for a moist cake, and it does the same thing that the oil will do. So that, that's always nice to know. Okay, there's our half a cup. Then we're going to mix this baby, okay? All right, perfect. So we'll set this aside. I don't need this anymore. They said it doesn't matter what flavor applesauce. No, you can use um, the un unsweetened applesauce, sweetened applesauce, the cinnamon applesauce. It will all work for your cakes. Now, I wouldn't suggest using like, you know how they have um, the pear applesauce anymore. They have peach applesauce and stuff like that. I wouldn't do that. You, you, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so let's get to blending this up. But before I blend mine's up, I like to do this so that my batter doesn't go all over the place. Okay, I just give it a head start. And I want to preheat my oven. Let's go ahead and do that now. 350 degrees. All right. Perfect. Get a soft spatula out so that you can scrape the sides down. Scrape the sides down real good so we can assure everything is getting well incorporated. I even scrape the bottom of the bowl sometimes. You know, just to make sure that we're moving in the right direction and everything's getting mixed up. Okay? So I'm going to mix it just a little bit more. I got some birthday candles for the birthday girl. <laughs> I'm trying to get as much off as I could, but it wouldn't come off. All right, y'all. So what we're going to do right now is you have to oil and, and uh, flour your pan. If you have just the clean paper towel, you can put the oil on and then put the flour on and, and then take you know, your pan like this into the trash to get any excess flour. If I still have my baker spray, which it's oil and flour in that can, I'm gonna spray it. That's if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it, y'all. Because So this here, it 
it's made for cakes and it, it does have, this one says it's the baking spray with flour. Okay, so I'm gonna do this over my trash can here. I wanna do the sides and the bottom. The oven is preheating up. Easy peasy. If you're just now coming in, welcome. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Audrey, hello. It is, a lot of people are saying that they love strawberry shortcake, so this is great. Okay, let me get this off. Come on off for me. Okay, there we go. Got it. It's going to be a strawberry shortcake, Jeannie Young style. So that's what we're going to do. This is, I'm not making a pound cake today, um, but it will be a vanilla cake. You know, and vanilla cake is very similar to a pound cake and or a vanilla um, angel food cake. Okay, so now let's get our batter right into our pan that has been floured and oiled. Okay, we're gonna use our soft spatula to get everything in there. Gorgeous. That batter is so thick and it smells so good. I'm gonna purposely leave a little bit of batter in there for me and my cameraman. <laughs> we love the batter. When I, I, yo, when I first started the channel, there was a whole slew of people that would yell in the comment section. They would say, don't eat it, it's got raw egg in it. And I thought, are you kidding me? Like, I live for the cake batter, <laughs> right? Are you the person out there that loves cake batter like I do? Oh, I love it. And I'm gonna taste it. <laughs> I'm gonna taste it live. I'm still here after all those years of eating the cake batter. All right, look at this. And I'm gonna do like grandma. Grandma used to always say, knock that baby on the counter a few times, get the air bubbles out. So let's do it. All right, so here's what she would do. One, two, three. All right, give it a nice shimmy and into the oven. 350 degrees, but let me make sure my oven's nice and preheated all the way. That's it. My oven has a little bit longer to preheat, so I'm going to set it here until the oven says, hey, I'm ready. Okay? Stems off. My oven 
oven's preheated. Let's get the cake into the oven in the middle rack. Not on the top, not on the bottom. It won't cook up right. Has to go in the middle rack. And if you don't have a, a rack in the middle, take one of your racks from the top or the bottom, put them in the middle, okay? In we go. I'm gonna put my timer on. I'm gonna put my timer on for 23 minutes. The cake might not be done in 23 minutes. But even if it's not ready in 23 minutes, we have that timer set. And we know around about that time, it'll be ready, okay? So, wash off your strawberries like I've already done. Okay, let's get all the green parts off, okay? And then, let me show you how I like to do the strawberries, okay? I'm gonna slice it that way, okay? Slice it that way. And then from here, it's kind of like quarters. From here, if you wanted to chop it like that, you can. I know that green piece right there, I definitely want to take off. I don't want my loved ones to have to bite down into that green piece, okay? So slice or dice, whichever you please. Let's just get them nice and chopped up, and I tell you what, they smell so fresh. Strawberries are in season right now, so they're going to taste super delicious. Yes, they are. All right. Beautiful. We're going to do something interesting with the strawberries. So now, is there anyone that's cooking with me today? Yeah, if you comment certain words, certain words won't come through. Yes, so that is definitely true. Sometimes your comment just won't come through because I have like a high strict word content thing on here that, uh, you know, I, I only allow certain words to come through. And then I also say put it on a high restricted, you know, like for YouTube to watch the comments for me. Sometimes some people can sneak through the cracks, but most of the time they're not allowed. Oh, that's right. He's going to his cousin's birthday. Okay. So let's get all of our uh, strawberries nice and cut up. Oh, I, I wanted to know. I wanted to know, was there anybody that didn't have the strawberry glaze today? Because if you're the person and you don't have strawberry glaze today, uh, like this, I'm still going to show you how to macerate your strawberries by using sugar. And when you put sugar onto strawberries, you macerate them and give them like a strawberry glaze itself. Okay, so not only if you don't have that, I'm still going to show you how to make a strawberry glaze with these fresh strawberries by using just a simple sugar, okay? Well, he, I wonder if he might come in after his cousin's birthday party or what he's doing today, you know? Jers, welcome in. They say, can you use a food processor? Use a food processor for chopping up the strawberries? I wouldn't. The reason why the food processor works food processor works so fast and so hard, it would turn your strawberries into mush, right? So this isn't going to take a lot of time. You know, just chop it up. If you are lucky and you are able to find a strawberry that doesn't have the white and it just has straight red going all the way through it, a strawberry that has nothing but red like this one is nice and sweet. When they have more white in the inside of them, they're not as sweet. I, that could be a fun fact. You guys might already know that. <laughs> you might already know. Oh, your grandmother's birthday is the 15th and she loves lemon cake. Oh, okay, well tell her happy birthday. She loves lemon cake, okay. See, I'm not a fan of 
lemon cake or um, I'm not a fan of lemon cake, lemon icing, lemon iced tea, I'm not a fan. <laughs> You have fresh strawberries here, but no cake box. Oh, okay. What else can you do with your strawberries? Um, you can turn around, Derek, and you can uh, put some sugar on your strawberries after cutting them, and then go out to your local market and purchase um, the little angel food cakes that are this big or a pound cake out of the freezer section made by Sarah Lee. Slice it up, throw the strawberries on top with some uh, whipped cream, and that's it. It would be splendid. Yes, it's such a great idea. They said it's the cake without the toppings, just the pound cake. I do like lemonade, but sometimes I feel like if the lemonade's too sweet, I don't like it. What'd you say? They said, is the cake without the toppings just pound cake? Is the cake without the toppings just pound cake? This cake without the toppings is just going to be a vanilla cake. It's just going to be a vanilla cake. Yep. Oh, thanks for reminding you. You forgot something. Oh, you forget sometimes. Okay. You're very welcome. Hey, Gina, great recipe. Your name is Tomato Tomato. Tomato Tomato, welcome in. <laughs> Am I saying your name wrong? <laughs> tomato Tomato. Tomato Tomato. Welcome in. <laughs> okay, I like your name. I do like your name. <laughs> Thanks for coming in and joining us today. Can I use strawberry pie filling? Yes, you can, Thomas. What a great question. I love anything, anything strawberry, but you're diabetic. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I understand. So I decided to get... Um, a large container of strawberries just because my family likes a whole lot and I hate when they uh, eat all the strawberries and then we have no strawberries left so I said I'm gonna get a whole bunch y'all I have to I I can't continue to keep cutting these strawberries without giving one two three maybe five a try I can't I can't mm. Come in. Look how red this one is. That red means sweet. Mmm. 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 Oh, it was so good. My goodness. Okay. Great strawberry flavor. My goodness. Ooh, that tastes good. Okay. We're moving in the right direction. Get your sugar out if you're done. If you are done cutting your strawberries or if you're still cutting your strawberries, I'm going to start you off using a half a cup of sugar. It can be Splendid Sugar or Splenda, okay? I would prefer that you use white sugar, whether it's Splenda or regular white granulated. That's what we're going to use to macerate. When you macerate strawberries, you can put vanilla extract in there if you want. But you don't have to use it, okay? I'm almost done cutting my strawberries. Oh, this one's going to be nice and sweet. Look how red. <laughs> yep. And I'm going to taste a piece of that one. I, I have to. Mmm, 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 mmm. My goodness, that tastes good. Now, see this one? Look how white. It ain't going to be sweet. <laughs> it ain't going to be sweet at all. Do you prefer hard or soft strawberries, somebody said? Huh? Do you prefer hard or soft stra strawberries, somebody said? I prefer the strawberries. Um, I don't really like mushy, soft ones. I want them to have some integrity. I want them to still kind of be hard, 
but I don't want them to be mushy either, you know. So now the ones that are dark red, the sweeter ones, they tend to be a little bit softer and I'm okay with that. But sometimes you can feel a real soft spot in them, throw that away. That's not the kind we wanna eat, right? Okay, so I'm gonna gather a bowl. Someone asked if you can do a friendship cake. A friendship cake. I don't know what a friendship cake is. Can you please tell me? Tell me what a friendship cake is and maybe I can make one for you. Oh, you said being a grandma is great. Oh my goodness, how exciting. Ron says me either. Oh, your godfather is 81 today. Oh my goodness. Well, tell him happy birthday if you get a chance to speak with him. That's such a blessing. Okay, so the microphone is off. The microphone is out because we're charging up the camera. Okay? You should begin to smell your cake when your cake is almost done. My grandma would always say, I, I always wonder, because I knew she wasn't keeping track of the time of the cake. She would say, hey, go check that cake for me. And I'm thinking, Did you, do you know how long it's been in there? She say, no, because when I smell it, when you can smell the cake, that's when you know it's done. And she was right. She was always right. Okay, so now I have a bowl. We're gonna put a half a cup of sugar on top of our strawberries and that's what macerating the strawberries means. So get ready, grab your sugar, okay? Put your strawberries in the bowl and we're gonna macerate the, the strawberries. If you want vanilla in this, absolutely you can. Oh, close that back door. We want no more flies. We got one fly in here. Okay, I have heard of a friendship cake and a scripture cake. Ron, I haven't, I have not. Okay, so start off with the half a cup. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay, come on in y'all and you can look at me. Okay, that's about a half a cup, okay? Let me grab a nice spatula and we wanna mix it. Believe it or not, just simple sugar Coat it all over the top of your strawberries will create a strawberry glaze, a natural strawberry glaze, where the strawberries almost let off a liquid, at, like a pectin, kind of kind of like. But it's gorgeous. And like I said, you can put vanilla in here if you want. But then again, you don't have to, okay? I'll put a little bit in just because I told you all you can, okay? That much. That's it. This is what macerating the strawberries look like. So now when we come back and look at it in another 10 minutes, you're gonna see a whole bunch of beautiful strawberry glaze that has formed in the bottom of your strawberries. So when you macerate them, you give them an amazing flavor. Talk about amazing. Okay, so that's how you do it. If you're the person out there, you want a little bit more sugar on yours, you can, but you really don't have to. Okay, so let me put these ingredients away. And I wanna get some of my strawberries put away. Welcome in if you're just now coming in. What are y'all laughing at? You guys are cracking up. It's so nice to see you all laughing and having such a great time. I live for this. I so enjoy seeing you all laughing, smiling, having a good time, keeping the conversation going. This is just great. This is just absolutely great. So welcome in. It is, it's great. I don't know where the red went. I, 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 need, I need a kitchen tap. So I'm going to look at some comments, see how everybody is doing. Is everybody doing okay? It's probably updated from what it 
used to be. Tell me what you guys are talking about. Carmen, hello. Look in the basket. You know the basket in there? That's where it's at. Purple Love, welcome in. Kicking it with Donna, hello. V Jack, hello. Your A1C is 6-2. Thomas, that's good. Thomas, that is good. You're doing good. So whatever you're doing, you're, it looks like you're doing a good job. 6-2 is good. Pamela Meadows, hello. What are we making? We are going to make a um, strawberry shortcake, Jeannie Young style. And we're halfway through the recipe. So uh, what I've done is we've made our cake. The cake is in the oven and it's cooking. Okay? We have macerated strawberries. Now, once our cake cools down, we'll take our cake out of the oven. We'll let it cool down. Okay? And after it cools down, we are then going to take our strawberries and we'll be mixing some strawberries. We can put these strawberries right on top of the cake and then cool whip, okay? Or you can put your whipped cream on top of the cake and then the strawberries on top of that. So many different types of ways you can do it. You can mix these strawberries into here, throw it on top of your cake and then put the whipped cream on top. That's how I'm going to do it. But when we get there, we'll talk all about it, okay? Because there might be somebody that wants to do theirs a little different. So now take a look and you can see how glossy and just how the glaze that I spoke of is beginning to happen. Does it look glossy to you? Ah, <laughs> yes it does. Y'all, come on in. We're going to taste this together. It's going to be sweet. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness, that tastes so good. When I tell you it tastes good, it tastes good. So let me see how long my cake has. Looks like about seven or eight minutes. Seven or eight minutes is what we have on our cake, and then we'll check it. If we check it with our fork and it's just not ready, then at that time, we'll let it continue to cook until it's ready. And then we'll take the cake, We'll put it in the refrigerator, let it cool down, and then we'll talk about what happens afterwards, okay? In the meantime, I'm coming around to the camera and we can talk for a little bit, okay? You said where, what? Let's see what he says. Where am I? What am I doing? What's he saying? What the heck is happening, guys? He said, where is he? And what is he doing? What do you mean? What's he talking about? <laughs> oh, picking on folks. <laughs> I said, what's happening, y'all? Oh, my God. Whose A1C is that? Are you kidding me? I don't believe it. I don't believe it for one second. Okay, Sonia, thank you. Thank you, Sonia. I thought, what's going on? <laughs> Renee, how you doing? Oh, 7.4. Maggie, Maggie Cleves, hello. Renee, hello. Do you practice making your recipes for before putting them on video? Yes, absolutely. Before putting all recipes into a video, they're always made. I always make them before. I will not ever put out a recipe um, and, 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 you, you know, and, and not have tried it or made it before. Now, not saying that there's never had been a situation because I can recall doing a video or a live before and I say, y'all, I don't know 
we're just going to try this together. I have done that. Yes, I've done that. But I'd like to say 98% of the time, all the recipes are always tried before putting it into a video format and bringing it to you all, okay? Lady girl, hello. Oh, you're a 70s baby, okay. I am too. Oh, Benny, praying for your uncle. Absolutely. Alaska, how you doing today? Welcome in. Oh, 70s baby here too, okay. He, he is, they're all outside out back. The dogs are barking at Dakota. Dakota's out back with them. And once Dakota does anything, the dogs will bark at him. The dogs will bark at him. You're doing wonderful. That's great to hear. Oh, okay. You said Uncle God is with you. Oh, absolutely. Okay, Maria. You're welcome, Benny. Okay, okay, that's great, Derek. Shakita, hello. Okay, coffee, don't you say that. <laughs> yep, Mildred, yep. <laughs> Who's excited? Who is excited for cake? I have ice cream. I got birthday candles. I said, I don't know how old Sonny is, but we're gonna light a birthday candle or two. Don't say the rapture time. <laughs> he said, no, what'd you say? <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm not gonna burn this cake. Don't you do it. <laughs> Oh, you wish you had cake right now. I know cake sounds amazing right now, right? So my um, my timer just went off. So what I'll do, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the cake. If I put my fork in and it ain't ready, I'm not even gonna take you over there. But let's just say I put my fork in and it's done. Well, I'll flip this camera around, okay? And then I'll tell you what we'll do next. So let me go see real quick. this mark we we know that we've cooked it for 25 minutes like I said it can cook from 27 to 33 minutes okay so we'll, we'll see keep a good eye on it but it looks gorgeous okay Ron okay oh okay Debbie Parker Oh, okay, K-Coffee, that's great. You still got a lot of pep in your step? Okay, I love it. Ah, I know I didn't say that for Sonja's birthday. I know I didn't. Y'all remember, do y'all remember Gina said, don't you do that, Sonya. <laughs> I know I didn't. I know I didn't. I know I didn't. <laughs> you promised. I, I don't believe y'all. I don't believe y'all. Hello, Tar Tar Tarsus? Hello. Yes, you did. Look at Maria talk about, yes, you did. We're doing okay, thank you. You said, yes, you did. <laughs> oh, 
okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, so we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. I, I don't like to break promises. I, I don't like to break promises, so, so we'll do it. Maybe. <laughs> Gina, I made through week two school nutritions. Okay, let me see. Bridget is saying, Gina, I made through week two school nutrition assistant. Okay, how awesome. Yes, Gina, dance today. Oh my goodness. Get Mr. Young to dance with you. Oh Lord, I don't know if he would. I don't know if he would. I don't know if he would. It's gonna be short. It's gonna be short. It's gonna be like a 20 second short dance. We're gonna do a 20 second short dance. It ain't gonna, it, it ain't gonna be, uh-uh, 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 y'all ain't getting me today. <laughs> China, welcome. Welcome in. Tootsie roll. <laughs> y'all have to be kidding me today. <laughs> Hold on, y'all, something is wrong. This is not being charged. Okay, so we got an issue. Hold on, y'all, because I'm gonna I'm gonna lose all y'all and I ain't gonna be able to dance if this if this camera don't charge. Let me see. How can I tell if it's charging? Okay. Hold on, y'all. We're having issues. Okay, I don't want to lose charge. Okay. So you got the top one. I don't know what they try to do to me, K-Coffee. What are they trying to do? What are we trying to do today? I thought we was going to have a good... Oh, get Dakota to dance with you. Ah, okay. He's just the one that would do it. No, he wouldn't. I know he wouldn't. <laughs> we'll take a 20 second. Do the stinky leg. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Derek, you know you funny with that. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I don't know what the Rubik's Cube is. I never heard of the Rubik's Cube. No, they talk about a Rubik's Cube dance, not the toy. Oh, you do, Zadi. Zadi, how you doing? Lynette, hello. Okay, Zadi's in it now. Look at Zadi. Talk about we'll dance with you. My goodness. Kalisha, thank you. Oh, frustrating but fun. The Rubik's Cube, yeah. Oh, you didn't get notification. Okay, yeah. Um, do you want to go ahead and message them and let's see why about the notification? Let's see. Somebody's doing a Rubik's Cube dance. This lady doing like this. Sonia, you want me to do like this? <laughs> Is that how you did a Rubik's Cube? I thought this was called the Vogue. Vogue. <laughs> right? There's a whole lady. <laughs> There's a lady on the computer bending her whole body down doing like this. I, I can do that for you, sure. <laughs> What the heck? This lady looked like a pretzel. That's what she was doing. It's a cube. You try to get the same color on each side. No, I know. I know how to do the Rubik's Cube. But there is a Rubik's Cube dance <laughs> that Dakota's looking at. This whole lady, she looked like a pretzel. She put in her body. She doing like this. I don't know what. She doing the Vogue. Okay, I can do that, Sonya. <laughs> oh, you thought that was the ro oh, this is the robot. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> she said I thought that was the robot. Okay, let me see. Let me see. I was notified for the fried pork chops and be out 3.51 p.m. only, but not the live. Okay. Okay, so you want to message them now while we're live? 
I told him we'll do that. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so we are, are you in the chat? Let me see. How many people is ahead of you? None. You got to fly, get the fly swatter out too because I don't want that fly in here. Does it say you have any people ahead of you? Okay, there they are. Okay, hold on. The people are answering. YouTube. YouTube live chat is answering. So what are you going to say? Everybody in my live chat is telling me that they're not receiving notifications. Okay, hold on, y'all. It's happening live. We're messaging them. Let's see what they say. Sometimes they will say, we're going to finish this call on an email. We'll email you about the results. That's what they'll say sometimes. So we'll see. Because I want you guys to get the emails. You know, I want you all to get the emails. I hate, I mean, not the emails, but the notifications. But I also know that some people's notifications ain't on. And you ain't going to get a notification if you ain't got it on. So double click and check and make sure that you will get notifications. Nope, no trolls today. Is there a troll in here? If it is, get, get, get them out. You're not welcome, troll. Okay, let me see what they're saying, y'all. You're subscribed to 500 channels? My goodness. You only got the pork chop. Hi, Goldie Bird, welcome back in. <clears throat> you don't see a troll? Okay. Oh, you just knew that I started at four. Okay. Oh, okay, Sonia, and you don't either. Okay. Okay. So what are they saying? Nothing yet? Okay. But did they assist you? Did they say hello in their name? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> It is, Penny. Too many dances to remember. <laughs> he said, Brian is a troll. No, he ain't. No, he ain't. No, he ain't. <laughs> okay, they're typing. Looks like they're typing, guys. And I'm going to get up and check the, the uh, cake here in a minute. But it, 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 it was real sticky when I checked on it. So I know it ain't ready. You got to get the fly swatter like I asked you. D right, on Sassy's birthday? No, yeah, you're right. No trolls today. Oh, you was watching it. Yeah, I hate the way the two collided. The uh, video and the live. It was just, you know, I, I got a late start today. We had some stuff going on this morning. Uh, some important business stuff going on. And then we just got started with the pork chop video late. But I tell you what, it was some good pork chops. And we're going to have that today with spaghetti. Electric Avenue, Thomas. <laughs> Uh-oh. I ain't gonna say that, Jackie. I ain't gonna bite the hand that feeds me. I love you too. And I really do. I really do, guys. I really do. I appreciate you too. And you know, with everything, you'll have some nicks and kinks here and there. But as long as you're respectful, you follow the rules and do what you're supposed to do, you know, things should run nice and smooth and you pray along the way. You know, so that's what I do. They messaged you back. Right, Ron, absolutely. They messaged you back. Put something on top of there because there's a fly in here. They said something. Okay, let's see what YouTube is saying. Uh, okay, they said, let's, they said, it, it is true. It is so true. A lot of people talk bad about YouTube, but I don't have nothing bad to say about them. I really don't. I, I don't, because I appreciate them. 
and it's a great way to communicate and things like that. I appreciate them. I appreciate being able to do this with you all. Okay. Okay, they said, hold on a second. All right, I'm going to check my cake here in a second. Jasper, good question. Let's see what Jasper, uh, close that. Let's see what Jasper is saying. I agree, my holy king. Let's see, let's look at Jasper. Can strawberry glaze go on a cake cold? Oh, yes. That's how I'm putting it on. I'm putting it on cold because I wanted to have that still that consistency if you were to heat strawberry glaze up it would turn into liquid we don't want that right and we don't want to put the strawberry glaze onto a hot cake because it would turn into liquid and it would go splat it would go flat right so we don't want that so the str let me show you something okay hey drew so the strawberry glaze is like this. Look at this, look at this. I'm talking about delicious, right? That's what it looks like, okay? We don't wanna heat it up. I mean, I mean, that is love in a container. Y'all, and it tastes so good, okay? So just trust me on this. Don't put it on the hot cake. Nope. Don't heat this up, no. Okay, let's let it keep that consistency that I just showed you. And in order for that to happen, we're gonna take our cake when it's done, put it in the refrigerator, let it cool down, and this is gonna go on top. Now you have the option to put your strawberries inside of here, as many or as less as you want to, okay? If you don't have this, you're, yeah, yeah, you're right. If you don't have this, you can just use your macerated strawberries, Put it on top of your cake, check me out, and then the whipped cream on top. And when you slice it, it's gorgeous. Yes! All right, and if you have some leftover strawberries, you can put it on top of that. Okay, so easy peasy recipe, but this is a recipe you're gonna want to share with your family. They're gonna love it. I mean, talk about love, love, love this recipe. I gotta check my cake. Oh, yay! Okay, let me check my cake. How's YouTube going? They're talking. Okay, they're talking right now. Give them a second. They're typing. Hi, puppies. Can you get baby? on the cake two three minutes on the cake and then we're gonna take it out <clears throat> excuse me make room in your refrigerator so we can cool it down okay how, how easy Nate dog welcome back in remember hostess chocolate pies make a homemade version that sounds good that it does it sounds so good my goodness Okay, that sounds great. Make a homemade one. How interesting. Drew needs bail money. What the what? Wait a minute. Let me see. Oh, he must have went to the game and ran out on the field. Don't tell me. Don't tell me it ain't so. I told him I wasn't getting him out, y'all. Oh, you meant cool off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is Dakota? Where is the the flat the swatter? Okay. Yo, so the puppies, my husband took the puppies to get Oh you will! My husband took the puppies to get a haircut yesterday. I can't wait to show y'all the puppies because they are beautiful. They smell so good. They are so clean. They got their, um, the ear hair pulled out. 
and got their teeth cleaned, they got their nails done, they got their uh, fur shaved down, and they got a nice bath last night. So they are gorgeous. I'm gonna show them to you. Polo, don't do that. And Prince's ears are cut real low. I don't, I don't decorate cakes, Benny. I am not known to be a baker. Uh, I'm, I'm more of a cook than a baker. Go ahead and tell me what they said. They said they need proof that um, your uh, viewers did not get notified. Okay, they need proof that viewers are not getting notified. So they want to make sure. Okay, so let me take a screenshot. Can you take a screenshot from there? No, they, wanna, they want one of the subscribers to take a screenshot and show they are subscribed and have notifications on. Okay, they, what, okay, here's what they're saying, you guys. Um, I appreciate YouTube. So now, here's what they're saying. They want subscribers. They want one, of the subscribers. one of the subscribers, listen to me, to take send a screenshot to, to me showing, the are on. showing that your notification is on, but you are not getting notifications. If you can do that, they're saying that they'll hang on right now so they can see what the issue is. She said proof, but how? Just take a screenshot of you being notified. Take a screenshot of you being notified. I, I don't understand. Showing that you have notifications on. Showing that you have notifications on. For this channel. For this channel. If you can prove that you have notifications on for this channel. Okay, you can send me the screenshot that your notification is on for this channel and you didn't get a notification. They want that from me, I can send it to them and they said they'll handle it. Okay, so I don't know, how, how do they do it, Dakota? Just go Say it, I'm saying if you know how to do it, say it. Press the subscribe button. Press the subscribe button. Then, the, then my notifications on all. Then where it says notifications for all. And then just screenshot it and then email it to you. Screenshot it and email it to me. Gina, I just sent you mine. Right. Okay. Right. This is Sonia. Okay, and here it is. Okay. So. All right. Let's see. What you got? Screenshot. I don't think, I don't think that's. Okay, she sent me. Yeah, I didn't think that's what I need. Okay, you see Sonya's? Is that that's not what we need? No, it works or it doesn't. It works. It shows that it's on. So it shows that it's on. Where does it show that it's on? In the top right corner. In the top right, it shows the bell. With the bell shaking right here. Okay. All right. So send that to them. Okay. Thank you, Sonia. I'm getting my cake out. Get your cake out. Your cake should be done. Get the cake out so we can get that baby into the refrigerator. I'm going to give it at least five minutes on the counter. Then we'll throw it in the refrigerator. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget about your cake, Pamela or Paula. Okay. My goodness, it's gorgeous. So I'm going to flip the camera around so you all can see, just to show you what it looks like, okay? I'm late, but I'm here. Samantha, welcome. Okay, so let me show you. There's our cake, and she is a beauty. Okay, get the cake out of the oven. Thank you. Latricia, welcome. No, don't do that. Don't do <laughs> All right, All right, so now. Let it cool on the counter for, let's just say five minutes, and then into the refrigerator. During the meantime, go ahead and make some room. 
in your refrigerator so your cake can go in, okay? This is easy. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> he said, I'm going to be funky. Drew you something else. <laughs> okay, he's speaking with them now, Sonia. Thank you. Okay, this could be great. You t he said, he said, can they just not tell that a bunch of us didn't get a notification? Um, I guess we'll see. And, and t tell them, say, say uh, I'm live right now as we speak. Yeah. And so many people are, are saying they didn't get a notification. Yeah. Oh, can you say it again? I'm talking about they know. They said sorry for <laughs> He's talking about they know. Say it again. They said sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, they said sorry for the inconvenience. We're going to fix things right now. Okay, so this is awesome. Okay, and I got Mildred, Mildred as well. Okay, there goes Mildred. Let me see, I'm gonna show you. And she's got, okay, look, she sent two messages and she is saying notifications are on. Okay, so you wanna do that with her? Okay, he's gonna send yours too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, y'all, I want the world to know that Gina Young is live. Could you imagine if everybody was getting their notifications, what it would totally be like? We would have so many different personalities on here. We would be cracking up 24 seven, right? But if people don't get it, then what do we do, right? Hello, Melinda, welcome in. Oh, Cindy, Cindy sent me one too. Okay, so that's great, thank you. I, I think that's enough for now. Great. You guys are awesome. Okay, so about three more minutes, we're going to take our beautiful cake, put it in the refrigerator. I'm going to make a little bit of room on my on my middle rack. And it's not going to take long for our cake to cool down. It, it normally doesn't take long for your cake to cool down, okay? So I'm going to make some room, move a couple things around so our cake can cool down. Oh, I haven't seen Saj, huh? Oh, Kim, yeah, you can't wait. I can't wait. Get your cakes into the refrigerator right now. Get them nice and cooled down. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's still talking with them. So this could be really great. Hello Kay Alexander, how are you? Okay Gina, I know, it's so exciting, right? Now, now, Sonia, you said you love strawberries. I'm going to really bring the strawberry flavor to you. The strawberry flavor will be brought to you today. Charlene Bell, hello. Kay Alexander, how you doing? Jasper, is 30 minutes a great time to cool a cake down? Sure, but let's just say... Um, it doesn't cool it down in 30 minutes. Well, we're just gonna keep it in a little bit longer, okay? Cause your refrigerator might be a little bit colder than mine. Mine might be a little bit colder than yours. So all of our cakes might take different times to uh, cool down. Mm. Hi, sweetie. Love you, baby. <laughs> Yo, I grabbed him. I grabbed him. I grabbed him by his pants buckle. I wouldn't let him go. He tried to walk, I did like this. I grabbed that pants buckle, he went like this. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> I love you, be careful now. Yeah. Honey, you get ready to lose your phone, baby. Where's that? Oh, okay. uh, oh, I got something from, I got, 
there's an email we need to look at. Simon? Okay. Yeah. Okay. He said, he said it, it looks good. Oh, maybe. So, I, I mean, I'm just saying look at it. Okay. He, he said hello. Baby, they said hello. Tell everybody I said hello. He said hello, happy Saturday, everybody. Saturday. He said what it do, happy Saturday. Every other happy day. He said and every other happy day. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. <laughs> oh, come here. I'm going to show y'all one of the puppies. Come here, poo-poo. Oh, wait. They ain't about to listen. They so mad that he done left out the door right now. They ain't even going to let me pick them up right now. They are not happy that their dad done left out the door. Ask Mr. Young, should you run on the field? Oh, oh, no. It's funny. I told him last night what you said. I said, Drew done told me, or I told him the other night, I said, Drew done said he done, well, he wants to run out on the field. He said, he do? He said, he said, tell him, go ahead. Go ahead and try it. <laughs> I told him, I said, I told him I ain't getting him out. I, I ain't bailing him out. He started laughing so hard. He said, tell him, go ahead and try it. <laughs> I said, he said he was going to be wearing my shirt. <laughs> he fell out laughing. He did. Is YouTube still on the computer? Dakota? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Uh, okay. He, he did. He fell out laughing. I'm going to call y'all at the Central Boogie. <laughs> he laughed so hard. He said, yeah. He said, Tom, go ahead and try. Go ahead. <laughs> Have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Kim, yeah. All right, let me see. Let me see. Dakota done walked away. Let me see if YouTube. Okay, let's see. Okay. But we are still connected. Hold on. Let me tell the people yes. Hold on. Dakota done walked away. Okay. So they said, okay, okay. Okay, for us to look into, look into it further, it would be best to seek assistance from our internal for further investigation. And then it says, oh, so the issue only occurred when going live. I don't mean to rush you, but are you still connected? I say yes, and they say cool. So I'm gonna say uh, for, for videos as well, also live okay let me send it for videos as well also live okay so this is good okay Dakota's back and they're typing again so here's what they said Dakota they said for us to look into this further well you can read it from here okay yo so they're looking into it and I'm all happy My husband laughed. I said, Drew talking about, he want to go to the game. I said, I don't know what kind of game it is. I said, I think it's a baseball game. I said, he want to run out on the field. He said, tell him, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and you tell me all about it when he, get, when he get out. He can tell us all about it when he get out in a couple years. <laughs> oh, your birthday is two weeks from yesterday. Okay, happy birthday, Benny. Yo, my hair's starting to dry a little bit, so I'm happy with that. Give me the puppy and I can show him. We got a puppy that has had a good bath, haircut, teeth brushed. Take a look. Can you show the people? What, what do you have, Dakota, that he's looking at? <laughs> what do you have? What the heck is he looking at? Look at the people, Polo. <laughs> he's so cute look at him guys oh my goodness he ain't big as a button is he he ain't big as a button y'all he smells so good they slept so good last night I had one in the middle of my legs and the other one on my knee it never fails Prince always <laughs> you said boo boo yes Derek Prince always lays on my right knee. 
his head goes over my right knee. And I, I'll just lay there. And he was laying in between my legs and we just slept, we slept so good. We slept like babies. He's a wee boy, he's a good baby. Ay, look how cute you are in your haircut. Oh, the fox is ready for lunch. Don't you do it. Don't you dare. <laughs> Come here, Prince, so they can see what they did to your ears. Come here. Uh-oh, you got to get up here so I can reach you. So they cut Prince's ears down a little low because, say hi, sweetie. Hold on, let me fix your polo. Been licking your face, ain't he? So they cut his ears down real low because his ears was a little mad. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> you wait. I just picked you up. Uh, his ears was a little matted. They told me that they want me to use a certain type of brush on his ears, okay? Since his fur is a little bit different than Polo's. So, uh, and they want me to brush his ears like once every other day. So I'll do that so they don't have to cut his ears down. Look how, oh my goodness, y'all. They are. They are so spoiled. And I love, I love you, sweetie pie. We best friends. Are we best friends? His ear is sticking to my lip gloss, y'all. Do y'all see that? <laughs> okay, sweetie. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I, Y'all, I love them. I love them. Like, I love their whole life. Okay, let me see. Somebody is saying, how do I add my name in the lower corner of my YouTube video? when I edit. Oh, Jasper. Okay, Jasper, so what you'll do is, you asked me a little too quick. Um, how do you add, he, he, you want your logo in the bottom right hand corner? What do they go to again? What is it called? I'm gonna tell you, hold on. So, you go to manage videos. You go to manage videos, manage channel. Manage channel. Listen to me, write it down. Manage channel. And then you go to branding. And then it's called a watermark. Branding. B R A N D I N G. Okay? After you go to branding, and then you say that you want to put a watermark on there. Okay? There's three sessions, and you can uh, put it on the end of the video. You can put it on the start of the video, or you can put it on the entire video. And once you uh, press that you want to do that, I put mine on the entire video. Once you do that, it'll be on all your videos, right? So you're gonna go to uh, Customize. Customize Channel, and then go to Branding. And then once you brand it, tell them you want to do a video watermark, put it on the entire video, and then all your videos, it'll pop up on all your videos, and that little, your little logo, whatever you want, or your name, or your picture, will be at the bottom, proving that it's you and your videos, okay? So hopefully I helped you, all right? This is Tech 101 with Decoda. <laughs> Teaching tutorial. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Y'all, I, I don't want to have to go nuts right now. It's a fly in here and I can't take it. My husband, y'all, my husband in that backyard, he loved the backyard. It's like an oasis back there, right? So he's back there a lot. And the flies will come in as soon as that door opens up. And it's a fly in here and I'm ready to lose it. I know LaVon, it's like the works, right? How you doing, welcome in. Okay, Penny, don't you do it. Thanks for coming in, Penny. Gina, I have a question. What's your question, my holy king? I'm here to answer your question. What's your question? Smash the fly. Okay. Tell me your question, my holy king. Okay, my my daughter.
dog that I have is a teacup Morky. M-O-R-K-I-E. It's the mix between a Maltese and a Yorkie. Yeah, it's the mix between a Maltese and a Yorkie. It's Darium, welcome. I'm doing okay, Angela, how are you? My Holy King, where's your question? Gina, if Mr. Young told you couldn't wear makeup anymore, would you listen? Um, well, if he told me I couldn't wear makeup anymore, <laughs> wait, let me, let me see, let, let me see, y'all, how he's wording this. If Mr. Young told you you couldn't wear makeup anymore, would you listen? So let's just say it this way. My husband wouldn't tell me that I couldn't wear makeup anymore. He, he, he just wouldn't do that, okay? But let's just say he said something like, you don't need, you, you know, baby, you don't, need, you don't need to wear makeup. Well, that's different. You know, you don't need to wear makeup and you can't wear makeup as two different things, <laughs> right? I think that's why some people in here is laughing. Um, I don't think he would ever do that. Um, like I said, I told you all before, I wear the makeup because my skin isn't, isn't perfect. Like it appears to be right now. It appears to be so perfect, right? But it ain't. So that's the reason for wearing it. It's not, um, you know, it's because um, I do have discoloration in my skin. I may have some dark marks here and there, you know, on my skin. So I wear the makeup and it makes me feel better. But, um, yeah, how you gonna show me that when I'm working? Uh, my husband like he my husband likes when I don't wear makeup. He also likes when I wear makeup. So he likes both ways. I use Mac. I use Mac makeup and it can be very expensive. It's Mac Studio Fix. NC45 is the number. That says Studio Fix and it's Mac on the back NC45. That's what I use. So I use products from MAC, but it can get very pricey. Just wait. What's your other question? You said I got another question. <laughs> you said careful. <laughs> no, and you know what? It's not a bad question. It's not a bad question. It's just that my husband wouldn't do that. He wouldn't say, you can't, you can't. You know, my husband likes a lot of things and styles and stuff that I come up with. He likes all the different looks and stuff that I come up with. Um, he enjoys the makeup, and he enjoys when I don't wear makeup. He enjoys my hair up, my hair in the bun with the, a wrap around my hair. He, he just enjoys it all. He turned out to be a robot. You have to use one for sensitive skin, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's just a question. Uh, my Holy King, it's really not an offensive question. Not at all. That's not an offensive question. Mm -mm, it's not. There's nothing wrong with that question at all. See, when I used to use the liquid foundation, um, it broke my face out. And, and, and like I told y'all before in the past, years ago, maybe five years ago, I had a real bad breakout on my face. And this was before I started wearing makeup and I thought, what the heck do I do? My face is broken out and I had like dark marks all over my face. It was the worst thing. And my sister took me to Mac and she's like, they'll take care of you. They told me what color I wore and I was able to cover, cover that up. The imperfections, I was able to cover it up and I thought, I like this. You know, so I continued to wear it. But my whole life, all the way up until five years ago, I didn't wear, I didn't wear makeup at all. 
right? But I, that's the reason why I started wearing it. Oh yeah, Sade. Sade, how are you? Maria, how are you? Maria Collier? Collier? Collier, how are you? Let's see. Uh, don't you say it. That coffee ad attacked me. <laughs> the coffee ad. Did you purchase the coffee or at least click on the ad? <laughs> it might be some good coffee. Oh, you're making your own tea. Uh oh, it did, Penny. Oh, my goodness. Still under the weather. Okay. Well, I'm praying that you get to feeling a little bit better in Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father, please put your hands up on Maria Collier. Collier. I have a hard time seeing that word. Father, just please give her some type of comfort. Help her to feel better. And we're going to trust you along the way, Lord, that you hear and answer this prayer. Thank you. me at all no it's not a, it's actually like i said my holy king it's not a bad question at all i promise you it's not offensive it's not a bad question um i just i just wouldn't see him ever saying you couldn't wear makeup again because he he likes the makeup like i said he likes me with, with it and without it Question, Gina. Oh, I didn't see it. Let me see. Let me go back. Let me go back and find it. Hey. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me let me go back. Where are you? Okay, let's see. Hold on. A Timu commercial. <laughs> Uh oh, uh, you said my holy cling. I'm sure Gina has been at. I have. I've been at. I've been asked some crazy. That wasn't nothing, my holy king. I've been asked some crazy questions. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Let's let's find the other one. But if I don't see the other one, you'll have to just say it again, okay? Let's see. Um, did you ever? Let's see. That's Derek Eats. Uh, my holy king, where's your question at? There's Drew. I don't see your other question. Just just say it again and I'll read it. Or or if you guys see it, uh, let me know what the question is and I'll answer it. Eula has a question. Okay. Gina, I wrote it in caps. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Is it not coming through though? Okay, hold on. All right, I see Terry. Terry, welcome. Oh, German chocolate cake. We just recently did a German chocolate cake. Gina, the other question. Okay. I see. Gina, is that question too heavy? Sorry, I don't see it. Uh-uh, y'all ain't about to make me do this. It probably ain't no question in all caps and I'm looking. I don't see it. You have to message it while I'm looking. Message it right now so I can see. Because if I look away and it, it just goes, it just disappears. Let me see what you're saying. There you go, repeat. If it has certain words, it won't come through. There went the fly. Y'all seen the fly on my hat? Donna, how you doing? 
Gina, I made your coconut cream pulp cake and everyone loved it. Oh my goodness, Lynn, how exciting. It's definitely exciting. I ain't got no question, y'all, because I don't know about y'all, but I don't see the question. No, I can't see it, because you ain't put nothing in there. I'm looking at the screen. I ain't looked away for a hot second. Nope, I didn't put nothing. Nope. Uh-uh, ain't no second question. I ain't, maybe you gotta word it different. They might not let it come through. They might not let the message come through. <laughs> the robot is hating. See, I saw that message. It could, it could be filtered. He could be saying something that that is one of the restricted words and they're like, nope, this ain't getting through. And then I don't go to check and see. He pulling your leg. Oh my goodness. Lord have mercy. Cha cha, welcome. We are celebrating Sonia's birthday today. We have a cake in the Z refrigerator cooling down. Oh, thank you, Ethel. Thank you so much. I think so, my holy, uh, my purple love. Where is Chocolate Drop? Chocolate Drop is a new subscriber. I don't know where they are today. I didn't know. Uh, must be Jared because uh, you keep seeing it. Zzz, keeps buzzing right around my ear. Where is the cake? The cake is in the refrigerator. It's cooling down. Once it cools down, we're going to proceed with making the Z recipe. Okay, and then if I have some time, I'm just going to go ahead and make my dinner, if y'all don't mind. So after we get our cake made and we give it a taste and all that good stuff, I'm just going to let y'all sit and watch me uh, make my dinner. I'm not going to do a cooking tutorial where I'm showing y'all exactly how I'm making it. I'm just going to flip the camera around and y'all can watch me make my spaghetti. Okay, so, and, and I'm going to be talking to you, so that's how it's going to go this evening. They messing with your mind. Okay, I ain't chill. Okay. Well, that's irritating because I'm, I'm looking back for the message and I don't see it. Jeez. Oh, spaghetti and buffalo wings. So today, it'll actually be spaghetti and uh, uh, pork chops because we got pork chops made that I made earlier. Did they get off? Did YouTube get off? Oh, they've been off. Okay, here. Take this. It's behind you. You're welcome, Zadi. Yeah, La Latricia. So I turned around. I made some crispy pork chops. These pork chops turned out golden brown, beautiful, and they were so juicy in the inside and packed with flavor. And I used adobo to season them. Adobo is great on pork. I mean, it's making my mouth salivate right now. I can't wait to eat another one. Is shortcake supposed to be one word or two words? Spaghetti and a pork chop. Yes, that's what we're doing. It was so funny because uh, after I made the pork chops this afternoon, we wanted to just go in on those pork chops. I said, now save them because uh, we want to have pork chops with our spaghetti later. You're so welcome, Benny. Hey, we appreciate you. We love you and you are family here. You hear me, Benny? You are welcome to come in and join us. Just honestly, anytime. Anytime we're live, you can come and join us Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And we just sit and chit-chat. We cook recipes. We chit-chat about everything under the sun. We're praying. We do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, Purple Love, you're right. Gina, how are you and your dad? 
Is he, how are you and your dad doing? We're doing good. Is he gonna come on the live is your question. I don't know when, I don't know when because we live in two different cities now. I don't live in Columbus, Ohio anymore. So um, it, it's, it's gonna be a little difficult, you know. But I'm pretty sure when I see my dad, it could be possible that we could do, you know, him on the live where y'all can see him. It's not letting, see, it's not letting you finish your words. It could be a word that you're saying that it's just not letting get through. I ain't gonna worry about it today, I tell y'all that. I, I'm not gonna worry about it today. <laughs> that word's not going through. I already talked to YouTube and hopefully they can fix it. I don't eat pork, but I wonder how well it would go with lamb chops. I think it would go good with lamb chops. I do, I do. There's a way to bring him without, um, there is a way to have him on without us being in the same city. But I don't know if my dad knows that technology. You know, how to get him on there. You know, my dad's 70-something years old. How do you make escarole taste less bitter? My goodness, uh, that's a hard question. I really have to think about it. So, but what I would suggest is that you turn around and soak your escarole in milk. I would soak it in milk overnight, okay? Escarole, uh, possibly soak it in milk uh, and see if that could change the whole dynamic. Are you saying, you're saying escarole or escargot? Oh, is that what you get to try again? Okay, okay. Oh, okay, so you're saying we need the famous honey garlic chicken thighs on the live. I, for some reason, I feel like I did that on the live. I just recently did a honey garlic chicken strip. That was absolutely amazing. I put it in a video form just a couple days ago, and the recipe was absolutely amazing amazing now it's a new recipe and i decided to turn the honey garlic recipe into um the sauce i wanted to make the sauce more simplified for people so that's what i did with the honey garlic uh chicken strips and i think you all would like to make this better because the sauce is more simplified so take a look at it What about a strawberry and rhubarb pie? I love it. My dad will not be here for Thanksgiving. He won't be here for Thanksgiving. I can see you, Ron. He may, G. Hugh, just, I don't know. He may, he may, I just don't know. I don't know how to answer the question for sure about my dad. Don, hello. Hey, Gina. At what point do I add tomatoes to my shrimp and garlic sauce for pasta without them breaking down too much? Okay. Hey, Gina, at what point do I add tomatoes to my shrimp and garlic sauce for pasta without them breaking down too much? The best way for you to do this is to use a canned chopped tomato and then they can cook and they will not break down. Now, if you're gonna use a fresh tomato, then it's gonna break down. Whether you put it in late, whether you put it in the beginning, the middle, it's gonna break down the fresh one. But a chopped 
tomato that comes out of the can, you'll put it in in the beginning of the recipe. Great flavor. It doesn't turn into mush like a fresh tomato does. Okay, so hopefully I was able to answer that for you. It actually was a great question. Okay, Tyne, I don't know how to say your name, but you'll try the milk, okay? Can you make a version of olive garden shrimp scampi? Thomas, I have a version of Gina Young style shrimp scampi, and I'd like for you to take a look at that and let me know what you think about the recipe. Gina Young style just might be better than olive garden's shrimp scampi. My shrimp scampi is something else. It's delic delicious and it's packed with so much amazing flavor. So check out Gina Young style recipe. And then Thomas, if you don't like it, if you taste it and you don't like it, then come back and say, Gina, can you try Olive Garden to see if I would like it that way? And then I'll consider it, okay? Try Gina Young style first. Derek, I've never had Olive Garden in my whole life. <laughs> M. Johnson, that's right, Gina. But I'm so serious. I'm, I'm so serious. I'm serious, y'all. Oh, yeah, Thomas, take a look. Let me know what you think. Take a look. Thank you, my Holy King. Absolutely. Oh, Cindy. They do. Steak fingers are delicious. Where, uh... Uh, is it the steak that's fried, like the chicken fingers? Is that what you're saying? Or are you meaning to say steak fries? Steak fries are beautiful. What are you making today? Well, for dinner, I'm going to be making spaghetti. This afternoon, I made fried pork chops as for a recipe for you all. And today, what we're making is a special cake for a special birthday. And uh, we're making strawberry shortcake. We have our cake cooling in the refrigerator right now. The cake must be cool before we move any further and put our strawberry glaze on, okay? So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, you said Olive Garden used to be good back in the days. I never had it. I told my husband that I never had it when I moved here. And when we moved here, he told me that we would try it one day, but we didn't. So I have to remind him that I would love to try Olive Garden to see what their food tastes like. I made the pork chops already, but uh, yeah, we will be making uh, spaghetti. Oh, you said like chicken fingers, but with the steak. Okay, I, I understand. I could do that for you. I think it would be a, a great video to do. I think you all would enjoy. What kind of food does Olive Garden serve, says Marsha? Oh, he said their food is kind of generic. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you don't care too much for Olive Garden. Okay. See, a lot of people are saying the same thing. A lot of you all are saying, oh, y'all, guess what? I got to tell y'all something. Yesterday, my husband, hold on, hold on. Let me look at this message. I know the fly, it keeps flying around me because it probably smells my leave-in conditioner in my hair. And it probably thinks that my hair smells so sweet because my hair always smells really good. So listen, listen. Yesterday, my husband bust in the back door. He bust in the back door. I'm sitting right here and I do like this. I say, what's wrong? He said, it got me. I said, what? Said, he said, one of the hornets. One of the hornets stung him right on his back. Like kind of between his back and his butt, he was sitting down. And his, his tank top was up a little bit. He said, you see anything? I said, I don't see nothing, right? Yes. 
He said, you see it? He kept saying, you see anything? I said, no. And so I got some witch hazel. They say it's good for cleaning and um, peroxide. I wiped it on his back. I still didn't see, seriously. I wiped it clean, cleaned the whole area. And then five minutes later, vroom, there's a hole, not a hole, but it swelled up about this big, seriously. And then I put, um, I have something called tiger balm. I put that on it and I just spread it all over his whole back area. That the area was so hot. It was like an area big as my hand. It was so hot when you touched it and then you could see the hole where they stung him. And he said, it hurt so bad. He did, he said, it hurt so bad. He said, I'm so glad it wasn't you or Dakota. He said, I'm glad it was me. So we watched him for a couple hours, make sure he was okay. And it really bothered him the whole day. He said, I remember getting stung when I was younger. He did. He said, I remember getting stung by a bee when I was younger. He said, but never by one of these. He said, it hurts so bad. I said, are you kidding? He said, uh-uh. So, so then later, he, uh, we looked at it, and it had spread to maybe look like that on his back. And I thought, oh, my goodness. I said, well, later. I said, later, let's clean it again and put some more tiger balm on it so we put the witch hazel and the tiger balm and he hasn't said anything about it today but now he said i'm afraid to go back here now but what i can definitely say is uh, where they came and treated for the ground hornets they are completely gone when i say they're gone they're gone you can look you can stand there for 10 15 minutes you'll see nothing in all of the areas but one of them had to get him isn't that something? One of them had to get him. And they got him yesterday. Ooh. Oh, I hated it. I hate the way he came in. He said, it got me. I thought, what the heck? It, yeah, <laughs> it is scary. Oh, Cindy, I got some raw honey. I, I've had Applebee's. I've had Applebee's, and I do like their food. So now, I'm going to check the cake. Let's check the cake. Let's check the, the hornet wanted revenge. <laughs> wanted revenge. I'm going to wash my hair. Wash my hair. <laughs> wash my hands since I've been playing with my hair. All right. So let me wash my hands. I'm going to feel the bottom and the sides of my cake. If the cake is cooled down, then we can proceed. Okay. I'll be right back. nice and cold now although the bottom is a tiny bit warm don't worry about that no not at all okay the top nice and cool okay beautiful so take a look take a look take a look remember i told you we're making a saucy sauce kind of like a aka glaze can you see that in the bottom of the bowl how many of you all can see that glaze that i spoke of that's a natural strawberry glaze that you're gonna love, you're gonna love it, okay? And I, I, I'm sorry. I have to be sorry, because I gotta taste it. Mm, ay, ay. <laughs> it tastes good, okay. 
All right. I'm happy. So now, here are your options. We're going to take strawberry glaze. And you can take your strawberry glaze. We're going to put it here into this bowl. Okay? You can add strawberries to this. If you don't want to add strawberries to this, you don't have to. Okay? But if you don't have this strawberry glaze, you can just use the strawberries. Okay, so there's so many different options. Okay, since I have the glaze, I'm going to mix strawberries into my glaze, and it's going to go right on top of our cake. Let's set the cake aside. Uh, is it lit up enough in here, guys? Can you all see me very well? Okay. This stuff is the best. Anybody have a serious question? If you do, ask me and I would love to answer you. I love you guys and I appreciate you all being here for this special day. This is good. I, gave my, I told my husband today, I said, open up. And he said, what is it? He said, you know I don't like a, like a lot of red stuff. <laughs> right? Because he don't like, like red Kool-Aid, red juice or anything like that. And I said, just taste it. He said, mm, that's good. I said, it is good, isn't it? Uh, mm, <laughs> it is good. So, just to let you know, it is good. I'm going to rewash these containers out and use them. So now, here's what we have. We are then going to take a slotted spoon, okay? And because I don't want all of that liquid. I did put sugar in the strawberries, Donna. That's where all of this liquid is coming from. If we did not put sugar in the strawberries, we wouldn't have that liquid. That liquid is the, the sugar, okay? So now I have a slotted spoon. I'm putting strawberries in. As much or as least as you want to put in, that's what you can do. You can save some strawberries to put it on top, okay? But you're gonna see how much I put in, okay? Because I wanna save some of this because some of my family likes to put it on top too, okay? So there we go. And we have this on the side, just set it aside. I'm gonna cover it. Come on. Just cover it. All right. And now let's mix the two together. We have extra strawberries. If you don't have this glaze, then you're going to take your strawberries with the slotted spoon. Just put them right on top of Z cake. Okay. I did say Z cake. Come in and look at this guy. Somebody is excited. I don't blame you. Yum, Gina. Are you kidding me? Hey, no, I ain't kidding you. Thank you, Sonia. Yes, thumbs up the live. Tell the world Gina Young is live. All right. How about it? <laughs> Somebody's excited. Oh, wait, Gina. You really just did something right now to my whole life. Yes, I did with this recipe. Easy strawberry shortcake, Gina Young style. If you don't have the glaze, put your strawberries on there. Drain them with the slotted spoon. Okay? Now, let's just say if you wanted to get real fancy, Sonia, or whoever's in the chat. If you wanted to get real fancy, you could, you could eat the bowl as is. I, I promise you it's so good. I promise. Um... If you want to get real fancy, you can use the two 8-inch round cake pans. So you got two cakes, right? Put that filling in the middle. Okay, check me out. And then cover it with icing or your whipped cream. And when you cut it, you got that beautiful red going through the middle. But to save us the hassle when we want to do a quick recipe, this is life. Okay? 
Get away, fly, shoot, fly, shoot, fly, shoot. Shoot, fly, shoot, fly, shoot. I ain't got nothing for you. <laughs> shoot, fly, shoot. All right, now, this is what, this is a must. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you must. If you're making this recipe with me, you must do that. And if you didn't, you're missing out. Grab your whipped cream and a uh, soft spatula, okay? The soft spatula is going to help us to put our whipped cream onto here. When I make a cake, I always get two. I don't know why. But all we really need is one on a serious note, okay? You see? Because it's thick, but it but that's okay. Okay, so let's get this open and put it on top. Get your soft spatula. I'm gonna wipe my soft spatula off. And I want you all to try your very best. Like listen to me. Try your very best to put this on without running the uh, strawberries through. We don't want to see red going through. We want the red to be a surprise when you cut down inside. Okay? Now, if you happen to get some red on the top, then don't freak out about it. I promise it's okay. You know? But do what you can to kind of keep, you know, three different layers. The cake, the red, and then the white. This is Jenny Young style strawberry shortcake. Ha! You better make it some. Ooh. And when you do, you make sure you email me. Let me know what your cake looks like. Let me know how it tasted. And I would love to see a picture. Look it, tuck it. Look it, tuck it. I'm going to show you how to do it. If you get some red going through like I just did, don't freak out about it. I promise it's okay. This cake is to be stored in the refrigerator, okay? You know that. Don't keep it out on the counter, okay? Look at this. Now, so Gina, we got extra strawberries. What are we going to be doing with it? Well, what my family likes to do is when I cut them a slice, they feel the need that they want more strawberries and maybe some of that juice that's on there, they just pour it all over the top of their cake. If you're a strawberry person like Sonia is, she just loves everything strawberry. You're gonna like that extra strawberry on top, okay? Look, look it, suck it. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Y'all, I have so much fun doing this. I really do. And I crack myself up some of the things I say. I don't know why I was just saying, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Yes, look at, look at, <laughs> shoot fly, don't bother me, <laughs> Mildred, <laughs> Gina, you making me want to lick that fork, I know, that's what, listen, listen, when I do this, I want to make the world want to make these recipes, uh, yum, <laughs> yum, ah, yum, <laughs> I do, so look, that's your option, okay? Here is the cake. Here is the extra. Come, come on and zoom in. Extra if you want the extra on top of your cake slice. But wait till we uh, cut it because it's going to be gorgeous. After we eat this, I'm going to set this counter up and y'all going to get to watch me make my dinner. My dinner is going to be spaghetti and I've already made the pork chop, so this will be a fun this up. All right, let me grab a plate. Uh, where's the plate? Watch the fly for me. We don't want, we don't want, we don't want that fly. 
Shoe fly, don't bother me. Gina, can we eat the whole cake without taking a break? <laughs> you know what? Really, this recipe is that good, my holy king. When you taste it, you're gonna say, my goodness, we should have ate the whole cake. You are, you're gonna say it. All right, I got spatula. Okay, so we're going to put the, uh, go get me a lighter. I'm sure your dad got a lighter around here somewhere. This fly is a troll. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put the, uh, let's see, I'm going to put, let's see, how can I do this? One, two, three. Four, five, and one. Okay, okay. I think that's I think that's how old. Okay, so I got five candles for five, and I got one candle right there for one. Okay. <laughs> what are y'all talking about? Oh, you're gonna make this? You have a sweet tooth, Thomas. You're gonna love it. Sonia, let me know what you think about this. Okay. So let me see. Thank you, sir. We're going to light this and we're all going to say happy birthday. Okay, how exciting. There's five. And there's one. They don't have, they didn't have no number candles. Okay. <laughs> let you jump in your jet. Okay, let's turn the lights out. Can we turn the lights out? <clears throat> let's sing it, y'all. Let's sing it right now. I want everybody red hearts up in the comment section. Sing and happy birthday. Hold on, y'all. Let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sonia. Happy birthday to you. All right. Yay. Now, come on in. Blow the candles out. Blow them out. Blow them out. Blow them out. Make a wish. Make a wish. Make the biggest wish. And I pray that your wish comes true. Make a wish. I'm going to blow them out like this, too. I, I don't blow on cakes. I do like this. Ready? Make your wish. Yay! All right. Okay, great. Okay, and Sonia, you have to do this. You know how you, you ever did this? I'll do it for you. You know how you got to lick the icing off? <laughs> you got to lick the icing off. Right? Okay. Great. And then what we'll do, I want to uh, close up the holes from the candle. How simple, right? Yo, I can't stop tasting the cake because it's so good. Let's do it. I'm going in right here. Oh, and I'm going in right here. Oh, ho, ho. Look at Tuck it. All right, let's get that baby out. You come right on out of there. You come right on out of there. Mm, hold on, y'all. I gotta get that. Strawberry shortcake. Oh my goodness. Come on, look at the side. That's the side piece. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Happy birthday. Yo, I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time with this recipe. Mmm, everything tastes so good. Oh. Okay. Huh? What is it? Keep it there. Huh? Keep it there. Keep this here? Oh, okay. I'm going to put it here. All right, all right. And we have ice cream. So uh, I'll put just a little dash of ice cream. Take a look in the inside of the cake.
cake, you guys. How go look at that. Look at that. Now, that's my version. It's, it's my version. Strawberry shortcake. You can do it with pound cake. You can do this with angel food cake. You can get a frozen pound cake. It can be done quick and simple like we did today. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator, but you're gonna get a piece first. Okay, I wanna get some ice cream because I know the birthday girl wants ice cream. So let me grab the ice cream now, and I do have strawberry ice cream. Strawberry ice cream to go with this. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh y'all, this is so funny. I was wondering why they, why it was so cheap. Look how little. I thought it was a big one. <laughs> I'm okay with it though. I'm okay. All right, all right. Just a little bit. Oh, I can't. Okay, I just want a little bit of the ice cream. Let's see. Just enough, okay? I'll just throw that on the side. Because when you have a birthday party, you got to have ice cream. Okay? When you're done, you're going to put that in the refrigerator, right? And we got a lid that we can put on top of this, okay? Now, let me ask a question. Do you want strawberries on the top of this? If you want strawberries on top, I'm going to put some on top. Yes or no? Linda says, you go, Gina. <laughs> Yes, Ron says yes, yes. Strawberries on top. Okay, come on in. Come on in with the camera action. We're giving the people what they want. All right, and Z people said, oh, girl. Jamaica me crazy. I'm nuts. Am I nuts? Am I totally nuts? Let's try it. I'm coming over. Mm. I'm coming over to your neck of the woods. <laughs> Am I nuts, y'all? <laughs> Am I totally nuts? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is where it can get really exciting. Kathy is freaking out on this cake. <laughs> she should be. Kathy, look. Oh my goodness. Look it took it. Look it took it. <laughs> it's okay. We can retry it right now. No worries. I'm gonna give y'all that first bite. You bet I am. <laughs> Somebody's excited. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You're going to love. Let's, let's do it. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know until you try it. Oh, you don't know? Oh, you don't know. Uh. Mm. Socks off, Debbie Parker. Thank you. <gasps> Yo. The cake is so moist. When I tell you the cake is moist, when I tell you the sauce is good, mm. believe me. When I told you I got strawberry ice cream. Strawberry ice cream, big hunk of chunks. Big hunk of chunks of strawberries in there. Real strawberries. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Okay. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Come on, take a bite. Take a bite. <laughs> gonna turn into a strawberry. <laughs> Sonia, what you say? Mmm. Mm -hmm. 
Don't be afraid to do it, y'all. <laughs> she chowing down. Mm. All right. <laughs> Cat lover, it tastes so good. It really does. And I'm not here to kid you. I'm not here to tell you any lies. I'm here to tell you the truth about this recipe. It's delicious. <laughs> mm. 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 Yo, it tastes so good. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Monty C said it tastes so good my first time making it. And it's so easy. Right? I won't forget to dance. Mm. What does purple love say? Purple love? What are you sad about? Okay. Hold on, hold on, y'all. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful. Hey, gorgeous, gorgeous cake. Gorgeous dress. I love it. What a beautiful picture. I, I wish I had the nerve. I wish I had the nerve to put on a dress because you're rocking that thing. I wish I had the nerve, but I don't. I don't. I don't. Y'all, this tastes so good. Look at, look at, took it, look at, took it. Listen, the strawberries have that sweet, that sour. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. How great. Oh, because she has just graham crackers. Okay, okay, I understand. I thought Purple Love was saying something happened. Mmm. Yes, no problem. Hey, I do that for my family. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm serious. I really do. And I'm, I pray that you have a great birthday. I want to I buy that 
cake and send it to Purple Love. Oh, how sweet. Mmm. Yeah. Dakota. Dakota, you need to come take this from me because I can't I can't eat all of this because I'm diabetic. I need you to take this from me because I can't eat all of this. I don't want my sugar going sky high, but I can't I can't stop eating it. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. It's almost done, y'all. I'm so excited to take it. <laughs> Dakota said he's so excited to take the rest of my cake. He can't even wait for me to put this plate down. Mmm. Y'all. Let me let me see that glaze over there. Because I want to show y'all something. For real. Question. On the recipe, says Monty. Look at this. This is the... This... Oh, you licked the bowl. Yes. Y'all, this right here is amazing. I, I love it. Mm. I'm going to have to feed my husband some of this tonight. Some of just the sauce. <laughs> Just the sauce with the strawberries in. I am. I'm going to feed him some tonight. I'm going to cover that up and save it. Mmm. 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 I know Debbie. <laughs> he said, oh boy. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You couldn't find the glaze. That's totally fine. That's why I said most people might not. I understand. Most people might not be able to find it. Most people might not be able to find it. Where did you find the sauce? I was able to find that Walmart sells the sauce. Um, but also uh, Kroger sells it. But the stores that you guys have might not be stores that I have. You know, different stores. That's why I said if you... You know, just don't, weren't able to get the sauce, just macerate your strawberries with the sugar. Still delicious, you know? Still delicious. Yeah, it's a little early. I'm, I'm going to get to the dance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dance that cake off. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> I, I, I'm a, my tongue is red. I'm going to do it for you. Come here, Dakota. Y'all, he in there tearing my cake up. He done had his piece and half of my piece. He enjoyed it so much. Okay. Oh, you'll help me, Marsha. Okay, here, here's what I need. You're going you're gonna to set my setup? Huh? Okay, with my flat top? Huh? You know what I need? Uh, water boiling, right? Yeah. And a big pan for my noodles. Oh, yeah. I look like you're getting younger. I, I think it's just because my hair is wet. My hair is in the process of drying. And when my hair is flat, I, I tend to possibly look a little younger, I think. But I ain't getting younger. I'm getting older. But I tell you what, on a serious note, although I'm getting older, as we all do, um, I don't feel like it. Um, and I thank God for that. Uh, I really do. I really do. Beth, how you doing? <laughs> Mm, that wasn't me singing, singing. I was kind of just saying the words, Derek. That ain't me singing. <laughs> that ain't how I sing, Derek. Hey, Julie, how are you? Or Julio. Tawanda, welcome in. You can put spices over here. All right, we're moving in the right direction. Scoot everything over so you can put your flat top. Happy birthday to Tawanda. 
to Wanda, happy birthday to you as well. We just made a cake. We just made a special birthday cake. So feel free to re-watch the live or, you know, possibly rewind and you can see how we made it. But I can tell you one thing, that cake is delicious. Oh, okay, happy birthday twin to Wanda. Oh, okay, 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 so happy birthday to your twin to Wanda. What a beautiful name. Yes. You're so welcome to Wanda. You are very welcome. Welcome into the live chat. I appreciate having you in here. You are more than welcome to come in Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday when we're live. We're usually cooking. And after we cook, we just talk about all things under the sun, you know. So thank you for coming in and happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday and nice to meet you. Okay, can okay, let me see. Can any setting be a romantic setting on the first date? Candlelight at McDonald's? What do you think? Well, I tell you one thing. My Holy King, on a serious note, and I know there might be a whole bunch of females in here that's going to say, uh-uh, not McDonald's, no. If he ain't taking me out to uh, BJ's or wherever it may be, then no. I think if you two are interested in each other and you're so excited to see each other, no matter where it is. I wouldn't care if it was a Dairy Queen sitting outside with the Kona ice cream. It can be romantic if you're interested in that person. Hold on, hold on, uh, uh, my Holy King. Gina, Tawanda and I shared the same birthday, so I called her my birthday twin. I do have a sister named Tawanda, though. Oh, okay, 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 so that's great. Yes, happy, happy birthday. Okay, I totally understand. Okay, I got you. I got you. Happy birthday. Um, so, so like I said, um, some females might say, no, ain't no way taking me to a McDonald's for candlelight dinner. If you're interested in that person and that person's interested in you, you guys could sit on the sidewalk and have a nice meal together and enjoy each other. Only if you're interested in making that relationship work or you're interested in that person, they're interested in you, it can work. So it's not a funny question to ask, what do you think how that would go at McDonald's candlelight? It could be great. And you could have one of the best memories ever where you could joke around and say, hey, our first date was at McDonald's candlelight. Right? So if you're interested, you can make it work. If they're interested, it could be the best time you ever had in your life. I'm so serious. <laughs> Julio says, oh, yes. <laughs> okay. See? Uh-huh, you see what he says? He said their first date was at Hardy's. Thank you, sweetie pie. It does, Penny, right? So it all depends on how much work do you want to put into it, right, my holy king? Huh? What was our first date at McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> he just came in and said, when was our first date at McDonald's? <laughs> That's what he just said. <laughs> I think ours was at McDonald's. He said, I think ours was at McDonald's. I got you that number two and looked you in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he said he got me that number two at McDonald's. <laughs> and, and I may have been happy because I was interested. Yeah, we were good. And he was interested. Didn't matter. Yeah. It didn't matter if we were sitting on the curb. We was enjoying to each other, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's what matters. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said White Castles don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter, does oh, it? No. It, uh -huh. it really doesn't. <laughs> 
My husband always made it special, y'all. He did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said yes on the second date. Oh my goodness, that's nice, Ron. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. <laughs> she said. She said yes. He's gonna. She's gonna marry. Him. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> they went to Hardee's on the first date. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What sauce, Gina? Well, Latoya, the sauce that I was talking about was um, it's it's a strawberry glaze sauce. And I was just saying, if you weren't able to find it, it's okay because we made a homemade sauce when we macerated the strawberries. It develops like a, a little sauce in the bottom of the strawberries. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? Right? Are you serious? Huh? Huh? My husband talking sign language to me. I don't know what he's saying right now. Went to hot dog stand. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. So no matter where it is, as long as you're well, willing, my holy king, to put in the work, they're willing to put in the work, things can work. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it's Dairy Queen. Thank you, Latoya, Lat or Latanya, Lat Latanya McNeil Williams. Thank you. Sonia and Tanya back in the days. Okay, what'd you say, sweetie? No, I Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> God has it all worked out. Absolutely. It was. It was so long ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it's Sonya's birthday, and that's what we're celebrating. Ooh, y'all, it just felt like something's in my eyeball. I'm going to get started cooking my um, spaghetti. And I'm just going to flip the camera around so y'all can watch what I'm doing. Dakota, come here. You, do you want to get my, uh, my stuff out? And my pots and everything, my knives and everything. That's what I'm making, Sonya. I'm going to make, I'm going to make some spaghetti and that's going to be dinner. How much? Hamburger did they give me? Only wanted one pound of hamburger. It looks like they may have given me two pounds. Uh-uh-uh. I'm using that for my spaghetti. And you know what pan I'm using for... Tanya, I appreciate it. I do. I appreciate it. But but you all make me want to come in here. You all make me want to come in here and, and share my day with you all. I appreciate this time that we have together. Really, I do. Really, I do. <laughs> no, you can. You said if you take a date to a hot dog stand, that, that shouldn't matter. And it, it shouldn't matter. If you've got a great personality and she's interested in you, it can work. Even if you go to a hot dog stand. You gotta bring the personality. You know, you gotta you gotta show her that, you know, this guy, you know, I, I you know, I possibly like him or he has potential. That's what you want running through her head. And that's what you want to be running through your head while you all are dating. And like I said, it, it shouldn't matter if you guys are just sitting outside at a, uh, in a park on a blanket. 
eating sandwiches, if the conversation is good and they have potential to be a good husband or a good wife or good whatever, then things can work. You don't have to go out on a fancy rest, uh, fancy date that you're spending a whole bunch of buku money. <laughs> you, you don't. That's just what I think. <laughs> Let's get to making some spaghetti, Jenny Young style. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Can you make sure I'm in the camera? I'm gonna wash my hands. And I have all my stuff out, but what I'm not gonna do, I am not gonna tell y'all how I'm cooking this. I'm just gonna cook, I'm not doing like a tutorial, right? I'm not doing a tutorial, I'm just cooking, okay? Um, so let's cook. <laughs> Spaghetti is on the menu, and I will throw this baby together in 0 0.2 seconds. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm not happy with the fly being in here. smells so good. Can you imagine having some spaghetti tonight? Doesn't spaghetti sound good with a little piece of garlic bread? Throw your peppers and onions right in with the meat. It gives the meat so much flavor. There are times that I'll turn around and I will ask, um, saute the bell peppers and onions up or throw it into the sauce. But I find that putting it right in with the meat and letting it cook up, it does great, you know? A little bit of onion. I'm not going to go crazy with the onion. Just a little bit. You're going vegetarian. Only chicken and fish for two weeks. Oh! Hey, I mean, if I wasn't on the live, this is what I'd be doing anyways. 
So I figured I might as well do it now. Get it done and over with. And I got all my spices here. I will be adding sugar to my sauce, of course, because it makes it taste extra delicious. I got water boiling for my noodles. I'm not going to put any oil in my noodles. Here's all the spices I need. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and sugar. I'm going to mash this baby down. Just like so. I got to do a dance for Sonya. I got to think of what kind. Oh, they said they wanted the Tootsie Roll. I'm gonna do, that's what I'm going to do. Tootsie Roll. Dakota, can you bring me the earphones? I got to get the, I'm going to do the Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll it is. Tootsie Roll it is. when the sauce goes in. real funny. Remind me to tell y'all what's real funny when I just walked away. I, I'll tell you, but remind me to tell you when I come in front of the counter, okay? I, I mean, it's extremely funny, okay? Me. 
They gotta see my legs since I'm doing a Tootsie Roll for Sonya. Sonya, you better be watching because I'm gonna do this dance for 0 0.2 seconds. And that's it. Can you join? Sure. If you know how to do the Tootsie Roll, <laughs> y'all gotta look at my legs. That's about all y'all gonna be able to see because uh, the dance requires my legs to do like this. <laughs> okay, let me move this chair. I gotta see if y'all can see my legs from here. I'm just doing a little tiny bit of the Tootsie Roll for Sonya because Sonya, this is your special. Oh, y'all get to see my pants. Look how cute my pants are, y'all. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. All right, go ahead and turn the music on. It's real quick, Sonya. No, my shoes don't match. These are house shoes, so just relax. jamming in my ear <laughs> oh my goodness y'all are laughing she do she get a special day that's totally funny yeah it is <laughs> them legs was going but <laughs> Why do they call it the Tootsie Roll? I, I don't know. I guess your legs look like a Tootsie Roll. Let me see. <laughs> she said do the twist. Oh, Kathy. Don't you do it, Kathy. Kathy, don't you do me like that. <laughs> No, it's it's different than the twist. You know, the twist is kind of like this. Uh, okay, tell Kathy I'm doing it. I'm just doing it. Without the song, I'm doing it. Here you go, Kathy. It was a 15 second short. Yeah, it was. Oh. Get, get, give it a minute. Give, get, give it a minute and I'll tell y'all here in a minute. Give me a second. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you. I will tell you. <laughs> oh, that's great, Sadia. That's great. <laughs> it's I enjoy doing this for you guys. I really do. I really do. When I saw my legs in that camera, all I could do was totally laugh. Oh, it was so funny. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mildred. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Oh, she said you go, girl. <laughs> Ron, okay. How much fun. Oh, thanks, guys. I did. I did. I did. I had fun. And I hope y'all had fun. I, I really do. I really do. I strive to give you guys a good time, even if I'm on here for a short time, you know, even if I'm on here for a short time. I, 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 I love this. I love doing this with you guys. And I just hate, I hate when it's a, a day that I don't feel well, 
you know, on a day that I don't feel well, it's the worst because I feel so bad when I have to come on and say, sorry, y'all, I ain't going to be able to do the live. I feel so bad. <laughs> I do, my holy king. I do, I do, I do, I do. Uh, I have a story to tell y'all. But I'm gonna wait till Dakota walk away. My meat, my meat, I'm looking at it. That meat is still pink. <laughs> yes, we appreciate what you do. You are human, we understand. Absolutely, well, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that comment. It means a lot to me. Did you ever get the fly? Well, no, I didn't get the fly, and I'm, I'm a hoping, excuse me, I'm hoping that the uh, fly has went out. Hold up. There it is. I was getting ready to say, I hope, I hope the fly went outside. I think I see him. He way over on the other side. Y'all, I'm going to sneak over there. Don't nobody, don't nobody breathe. Don't you say a word. Hold on. Be quiet. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. If we get it, I'm going to scream. Hold on. It's like he see me moving. Hold on. Ah! I didn't get him. Sneak attack, and I didn't get him. <laughs> I didn't get him. Um, when would you allow Dakota to date? I'd like to say um, 16. I think 16 is sensible because um, he has a lot to learn. Um, he has a lot of growing up to do. Uh, I think 16 is good. I think 16 is a good age. I want to get his own job. <laughs> That's what you said. I think 16 is a good age. You know. Hold on, y'all. Missing the messages. Would you chaperone the date? Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I would have to know like the whole scenario how it would go. I don't know. I I really don't know. We would just have to do a lot of talking with him. Um, we would have to do a whole lot of talking with him. Make sure he understands different things and making sure that, you know, he knows how to act and how to treat, you know, a female and stuff. So I think that those conversations need to be had before he goes on a date. And right now is not the time. He's 14. He just turned 14. Well, he'll be turning 15 in January or when, when is his birthday? <laughs> yeah, January. So, um, I, I just think he needs to grow up a little bit more. I'm going to, uh, check on this meat real quick. I, I'm not even going to turn the camera around. I'm going to mash the meat up a little bit and see if my water is boiling for my noodles. If my water is boiling for my noodles, I'm throwing the noodles in. It looked like all three of your shrimp scampi recipes. Okay.
to the furnace. We just cook it and let it get chill on a hot stove. So we're going back. My noodles are put in. The noodles are in and they're cooking. Okay, and um, I stirred them around. Put some salt in my water. My, my uh, ground beef and my sausages are uh, mashed down. It's, you, you know, I took my little tool and mashed it down. There's a lot of oil in my pan, so I'm going to make sure I drain it very well. Cheesecake Factory. Here's the thing about the Cheesecake Factory where I live. Um, they're always so packed. You cannot get a, uh, like we don't like waiting that long. If you're going to make us wait in the line that long, we'll leave and we'll go find somewhere else to eat. So that's how it's been. We tried to go there two times and they, they had lines out the door. So both times we left. We won't we we wait that long for their food. It's expensive in itself already, right? It's always something to do in New York. I would be afraid to move to New York. I would be so afraid to move to New York. We. They talk about rats in New York and it scares me. They say that New York has huge rats and it's so, and so just hearing that scares me. Oh, Mildred said, tell me the funny story. So when my husband comes in, he says something when he's going to the basement, and I can't really tell what he's saying. I said, what'd you say? He said, I'm coming back up. I'll tell you again. So when he goes out the door, he said, I see you in about 20 minutes. I said, what? What are you talking? When I, when I told y'all, hold on, I went outside to see what he was talking about. He said, I see you in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. You, you getting off in 20 minutes. I said, no, I got a birthday party going on. I got, a, I got a whole birthday party going on, right? He's like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll see you later on tonight. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> see, New York, New York, the big apple, but they say they have big rats, too. <laughs> what about that? That's the part that scares me. <laughs> At first, I was all for it, and I said, "Wait a minute! I got a whole birthday party going. Can can we wait? Can well, this can wait, right?" <laughs> Cindy, I, I know I got 
the strawberry glaze. <laughs> mind their business see i can't i can't even go visit if the rats are rampant like that i can't even go visit because i'm scared and i will be scared to be in anybody's house because of the rats do the rats get in your house or are they just outside oh, are you kidding me penny It's bad. That's what scares me. Yes, you are dedicated, Purple Love. Thank you. Oh, Tawanda. <laughs> no, I know, Sonya. <laughs> the my, the rats can't mind their business. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> yes. He ready for that birthday party to end. <laughs> the mayor of New York is trying to solve it. And you know what? It would be great if he could, like seriously, on a serious note, it would be great if he could solve it. Penny, ooh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's the reason why I don't want to visit. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So, yeah, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Are you going to buy him a car when he turns 16? If he deserves one. I... Uh, so if he deserves one, if he can, if he's responsible, if he shows responsibility, if he show, if he, and he, if he shows responsibility, if he shows that he can handle a car, if he shows maturity and things like that, then possibly yes. But if he doesn't check those marks, then he wouldn't get a car. And I honestly wouldn't care if it wouldn't be until he was 24 years old. You got to be mature, right? You have to show maturity. You have to be responsible. You have to prove that you are responsible before getting behind the wheel. And if you ain't, you ain't getting no car. You ain't practicing. We ain't practicing. Uh-uh. You do in Baltimore? Jared says, I agree, because you do. You have to be so responsible. You got to be responsible when it comes to operating big machinery as a car. <laughs> you said, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm coming, Elizabeth. <laughs> got your first car at 22. It is serious, Kimya. Yes, Kimya. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Let me check my noodles, y'all, because you know my noodles only need to cook for 11 minutes. Okay, my noodles are looking good. And my burger is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and put my salsa on. I'm gonna flip this camera around so you guys can see me. Hold on one second. We're gonna flip the camera around here in just a second. cooked. 
The meat is drained, and now we're going to put the sauce, season it, let the noodles cook for just a little bit longer. Okay, you can come in on me. This hamburger, this hamburger and sausage look good, y'all. We eat good tonight for this birthday. I took in all of the um, oil out. Okay. Sauce. This one. I don't like a, a spaghetti sauce that's real watery. That's the reason why I like to use um, the Prego. I like to use the Prego because it's nice and thick. I do. I don't like a runny. Spaghetti sauce. Can the camera zoom in at the meat real quick so everybody can see what we got going on? Oh, this look good. All right, hold on, y'all. All right, I'm just gonna let this simmer, but I do want to show you all what it's looking like. Look at took it, yum! How quick can you make spaghetti? You can always make spaghetti quick and simple. A nice amount of garlic powder, paprika, black pepper. If you choose sugar, only if you choose. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. And salt. And then we'll go in and taste it, see what it tastes like. And if you feel like you need more seasoning, throw you some more seasoning in. Our noodles are almost done. And dinner will be served. We got pork, let me show you the pork chops. Here's the pork chops that I made earlier. I got some sauteed onions. Look at Tuck It. <laughs> Look at Tuck It, come on. Oh yeah, and we're just setting them aside. That, that's our dinner today. That's our dinner. I'm gonna taste this sauce and we're just gonna let it simmer down. Oh, did y'all know I forgot my uh, mushrooms? It's okay, I ain't gonna worry about it because if it has good flavor, I'm gonna taste it. If it has good flavor, I ain't gonna worry about it. Let's see. No garlic oil today. I'm not doing the garlic oil. I need more seasoning. More seasoning, more of the garlic powder, a little tiny bit more salt. Okay, just a little tiny pinch of sugar, and I think that will do the trick. And I do have garlic bread that I'm going to bake. Dinner served. Yo, when I see my legs in the camera doing the Tootsie Roll, I like to fell out laughing. It had to be so funny because I didn't know all I had on camera was my legs. I thought my whole body was on the camera. Let me taste this again. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Always, it doesn't matter what you're cooking. Season, taste it. Season, taste it. When you get to the point where it's so delicious, you know you don't need no more seasoning, you're good. Just let it simmer. Decide whether you want to put your spaghetti on top of the noodles or do you want to mix it in? My, my husband likes to mix it in, so I'm going to mix it in. I like mine with the noodles at the bottom and the sauce on the top. I want to grab some... Uh, Parmesan cheese and check on my noodles. They should be done. My noodles are done. Whee. I, I, now a real Italian will tell you don't ever 
rinse the noodles. I rinse my noodles. I rinse my noodles so that they don't stick. Um, because some of my noodles will go in here. I, I want to be able to handle the noodles so I can put it in there. And so therefore I rinse it off with cold water. How simple was this recipe? I mean, it came together so quickly, right? Everything that Gina Young makes, you can make it too. I'm coming around and we're getting ready to talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're having such a great time today. Thank you all for coming in and joining me today. I sure appreciate having you in here. I want to show them the noodles. Take a look at my noodles. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, after letting this sit for a while, then I'm going to turn around and put my noodles in. I like to make sure that I have equal part noodles, equal part sauce. It always turns out perfect. You want to put those strawberries away? You cruised all the way from the Hawaii Islands about a year ago. Oh, wow. The meat sauce, it looks great. Well, thank you. I tell you what, it's sure, it tastes good. It tastes good and it was quick and simple. Dinner's done. That's how easy, it seems like I literally just started the spaghetti, right? But it's done. That's how easy things can be made. And sometimes when I do a video, it, because I'm doing a lot of talking, it seems like it could take forever in a day. You know, but really, you just seen it in real life time, how long it takes to make spaghetti. Not long. And is it going to be delicious? It's going to be delicious. Garlic toast or garlic breadsticks. I like the garlic toast. Hope everyone is well. Linda Green, how you doing? Thank you for coming in and joining. You add a secret ingredient to your spaghetti. Let me see what, you're, what you add. Guess what it is. Jared, what is it? Tell me what it is. The garlic oil that I taught you how to do? I, I, I'm guessing. I, I just don't know. Where's K Coffee? Let's see. Okay, coffee, that's great. Spending time with your family on Saturdays. Yes. Hey, we love you. You hear me? I'm so serious. We do. We love you. Th this is so great. We do. We have a great time. He said, Frog. We have a great time on here. I know, I know, I love you guys to pieces. You heard me. See my red light blink in there on our water thing? It means, means we need another water bottle under there. Oh, you crumble up crispy bacon and add it onto the sauce. How interesting. How interesting. Now, there are people that when they make chili, they put bacon in their chili. There's people that put uh, a piece of chocolate in their chili, right? Like how interesting. So many recipes can get really interesting. And I do really feel like the bacon in your spaghetti could be delicious. As long as it's crispy, it could add a ton of flavor. Oh, okay. Well, tell your sister we said happy birthday. 
That's why when someone is missing, we do. We, re we really do miss them, yeah. But I, I know K-Coffee, and I totally understand. But also, being in this YouTube game, like I said, I've seen so many people come and go. I've seen people that, you know, maybe they were a subscriber for three years, and then all of a sudden they're gone. I don't know what happened. I don't know, you know, if they're not happy with the channel. I don't know if they passed away. Like, you don't know. You know, that's why I like to say people will come and go. And I've learned not to try, try not to wreck my brain about it, you know, where they're at. But then one day, three years down the line, that person will pop back up like, hey, Gina, I've been missing. I ain't seen your chick. You know, I'm like, wait, hey, where'd you come from? So people do, they come and go. They come and go. And we do sure miss them once you get to know one of them, you know. It does, absolutely. You're right. Yes, 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 you can. Mm -hmm. Uh huh, uh huh. I'm still in here, just in another world. <laughs> yeah. I, hey, listen, I hope you're enjoying yourself. You hear me? You don't have to respond to anything right now. I just hope that you are having a great birthday. You hear me? We love you. We love you. I love each and every one of you in here. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate... I, did I turn my food off? <laughs> let me check my... Let me check my sauce, y'all. They do. They hold on, y'all. Let me check my sauce. Let's go ahead and put the noodles in. Oh, oh that tastes good. Hold on, hold on. Don't flip it yet. Did you flip it yet? Okay. This spaghetti is going to be so good, y'all. All right, let's put the noodles in. I want the camera to come in real close. Okay, we're going to put these noodles in. All right, are y'all ready? Are you ready? You ready? You ready? 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 Get in there. Not too many noodles but enough noodles to where you can have equal part noodles, equal part sauce. It's a must, right? I don't have my microphone in, so just kind of bear with me. Yum. Fun in the sun, happy Sunday. Oh, happy Saturday, you know what I mean. Honey, I want to really mix the sauce in my noodles. Grab a little bit more noodles. There we go. Now we're in business. Come in one more time. Let's show them what we got. Show the people what our food's going to look like. Any Parmesan cheese, anybody? Parmesan cheese for anyone? <laughs> Dinner served. I'm not throwing in any uh, garlic powder i mean garlic uh, bread right now come on one more time right right from the tip top yum who loves spaghetti if you love it you better make you some make you some Gina young style and then come back and let me know what you think about the recipe and then i have noodles left over i always like extra noodles because i like to add some of the plain noodles to my spaghetti when I make my plate. All right, this is gorgeous. I'm gonna cover it and turn this off.
Look at that. Clean up as you go. You're going to be happy that you did it. All they got to do, make their own plate. That's all they got to do. Thank you. Parmesan, yes. Gina will, Christy says, Mildred, we'll need the Flintstone car out here. <laughs> My holy king says, Sonia is going to wake up with whipped cream and strawberries on her face in the morning. <laughs> You're on your way, Sonia. Okay, I got the door open. I got the door open. How do you get the flour to stick to your mozzarella sticks when frying? Okay, Jasper, you have such a great question. Okay, your mozzarella sticks must be extremely cold. And when I tell you extremely cold, make sure they are cold. You don't have them out of the refrigerator until you're ready to use them. The first thing that you do is you take your mozzarella sticks, cold mozzarella sticks, you roll them in flour. Then you have to roll them in egg. And then you roll them in breadcrumbs. And then you fry them. As soon as they turn golden brown, you take them out. The oil. Okay? It's just not a situation where you put them in flour and you cook them. Okay? But you get the gist. Make sure they're nice and cold. Put them in flour. And then put them in an egg wash. And then into breadcrumbs. And then you fry them. Okay? You're outside waiting with Mildred. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Did y'all enjoy today? Did y'all enjoy today? Y'all see I'm trying to get off of here. I'm trying uh, I'm trying to go find my husband. Did y'all enjoy today? <laughs> Don't you do it. Don't you do it, Debbie. Don't you do that to me. <laughs> of course we did, says Zadi. Zadi's the only one to answer me. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Sonia, did you have a good night? Okay, this is awesome. Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed your birthday, the great cake that I showed you all to make. And if you didn't make it today, try it one day because it's just that delicious. It is, it is. Donna, how you doing? Welcome in. Thank you for coming in. Now listen, Donna, um, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday, I'm going live again. And if you would like to join us, feel free to join. We have a ton of fun. <laughs> Got a lot of people coming. I might not answer the door today. If y'all out there right now, and I'm going to get off right now, I might not answer the door today. <laughs> Always a great time in here. I love y'all. Oh, you're so welcome, Donna. <laughs> yes, I love you guys. Give me a big old hug. Happy, happy birthday from the bottom of my heart. Happy birthday to your twin. Happy birthday to... Uh, Tawana? <laughs> happy birthday happy birthday i love you guys enjoy your evening it's never goodbye it's i'll see you on monday at 6 p.m eastern standard time we're gonna have a lot of fun stay prayed up i love each one of you millie rich folks hey you're just now coming in good night thanks for coming in and joining good night i love you too my holy king Thank you all, each and every one of you. K Coffee, Ron Wilson, Mildred, Sonia, Valencia, Penny, Zadi, Cindy, Christy, 
Renee, Maggie, Purple Love, K Coffee, Tran, Nurley, Debbie Parker, and if I missed your name, I apologize, Monty C. Donna, Tawanda, it was nice to walk into a birthday party. Absolutely, thank you. All right, y'all, so I'll think about a great recipe that we can do something quick and simple on Monday. It'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see you all. Have a great Sunday. Relax, y'all, just take a break. Tomorrow, Sunday, just take a break, lay down and relax. I love you all. God bless and good night. Good night. <laughs> Bye, guys.